Uh, oops. Wait a minute, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Hmm. Ideally, I would like this background to be replaced with application window, I think? Where is it? It's not there. Hmm. What am I looking for? Oh, game, maybe? Just better work. So, go. Okay, it worked. But now it's not doing it. Oh, right, okay, that's better. Well, I will. it would be better if it worked. It's not working. Specific window. Forager. Still not working, though. Oh, wait, it works. Oh, perfect! Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So working properly then. Okay. I just want to make sure that all this works. Oh wait, extras. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, I'll check that out later. Hey, Sylvan. Good to see you. Wait, is my? Oh, okay. My avatar was just being dirty there, I guess. Thanks for coming by for a second. Oh, glass, that's what I need. Do glass. I got Farger on the Humble Bundle. I was so happy because I've always wanted this game. Oh, this dog is so annoying. But... I learned I can set them down. What are these? I was calling something, that was weird. Ah, uh, this game uh, came out last year, potentially? Oh, I did that wrong, I realized. Yeah, this game came out and it was just like this nice kind of crafty foragey kind of grindy game. And I was like, oh that looks so nice. Hi Zot, thank you. I just 
felt like I had to stream today. I was going crazy. I need to keep myself occupied. So, um... Hopefully this will help me socialize a bit more in a way. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't, I haven't streamed in like a month, or maybe even longer than a month. So it, it's kind of a good excuse to get streaming again. <laughs> right, I need to build, move some of these things around. Wait, can I build on rafts? Oh, okay. I, I guess it's floating. That's pretty good. Then actually not. Well, I'm glad tails. This game is super fun and chill though. I'm really happy with it so far. Uh, took a while for me to kind of get to grips with all the little kind of things. Kind of got, I've kind of gotten a better flow of everything now. Hey, Waddleton. Uh, I'm like now and again just checking your messages and stuff. <clears throat> Hmm, yeah, see what you've sent me. Um, I might be able to make a, <coughs> like, a shrunken down version of the avatar. <coughs> like, I could probably just make it more compact. So then you could use it for emotes. Oh yeah, I just, <laughs> I went live kind of suddenly. For some reason, Bridge is under farming. I'm not quite sure why. I need to make a key. I think we're gonna get rid of these. This bed's annoying too, by the way. As adorable as the bed is, it's annoying. Okay, I'm gonna put you here, here. Oh my god! Everything's exploding. Okay, um... Oh, when you, when you level up in this game, it's like a jump scare. It's just very startling. I can pet the doggo. Doggo's adorable. They get in the way a lot, which is kind of cute. And the dog picks up stuff for you. <laughs> oh dear, I need to eat. I'll eat these beets, because I don't know what else to do with them. Just have an excess of beets. Hey Seth, Seth Shadow. I remember you, Seth Shadow. Can't fully remember exactly, but I definitely remember you. I'm not sure if it was from Mixer or from an older Discord server. Oh right, I need to make a key. So I need gold. Uh, I'm okay. The lockdown's affecting my brain, I think. I need to go outside more.
Uh, I need cooked fish. There we go. I need to make a key so I can open that chest. Yeah, it's like, sometimes the dog, because they, they always try to stand very close to me, they like, get in the way of my cursor when I'm moving around and stuff. It'd be quite annoying. Taking a walk? Oh yeah. What's in the chest? <gasps> oh, yes! Give me that top hat right now. Oh, it's just a passive thing? So I can't... I can't equip it. I can just kind of have it as a passive kind of collectible. Interesting. Okay, I... Because I've got so much wood that I don't even have to worry, I may as well build a lot more of these. Sylvan, if you're still there, thanks so much for coming. It was very, very sweet of you. Um... What will they there? This land down here gets so populated with stuff. that dog to get out of the way. Also, I'm starving. Uh... Oh, I should add this to my hotbar so I can just eat it right away. Okay, that'll be good. Oh, I was making glass, wasn't I? I was trying to make a bottle so I can capture these fairies and fireflies and stuff. So how do I do that? Oh god, I'm being attacked. Oh, that dog! Get out of the way! Okay, uh... Fred, that's what I need. Uh, I'm not quite sure how Thread helps make a bottle, but... I guess it's for the lid. Oh my god! I've never seen that guy before. That was kind of scary. Alright, this... See, I... I can't... Oh wait, no, it's in my toolbar already, okay. But still, yeah, for some reason the UI, I can't diagonally select remove from toolbar. Like, it's stuck on discard because it... I guess it only moves my D-pad in four directions. It's a bit silly, but... Gimme. Okay. Alright, I need a second bottle. <laughs> this game's really good, but it has some little quality of life things like that that just seem to be present in the game. For the most part though it's really good, like the UI is really nice. Um, like I press B on my controller and I, and you see all this, you can go into it, shows you everything you can do with it, it shows you the, what the thing does with a little description, you can back out, you can switch tabs with the L and R button, got these very easy to sort of process little things at the side telling you everything you need. Letting you pin the recipe if you want it. You can press B, go down, pick this, have a look. It's just, it's really nice. 
and you, you can buy land if you have money. It's all just from this one thing, and there's the options menu if you need it. So I'm really happy with the UI in this. And this all looks cool, it's like skills you can get. Actually, I need to spend a skill point on something. Um, it's hard to know what to get, though, a lot of the time. I'll get bank, that sounds nice. Oh, Tails, yeah. Um, this is from the composer of Freedom Planet. It's Woofle's music, and this is just music playing from her sound SoundCloud. Wait a minute. Have I accidentally put... No, wait, okay, yeah. I was just making sure the ticker at the bottom is still going. It says what the music is. But yeah, um, yeah, she, she told me I could, uh, well, <laughs> honestly, I started using music on, like, mu using her music on streams, uh, without asking first. And then later on, I asked her, like, sorry, I should have probably asked before, but am I allowed to use your music? And I told her I had been crediting her, kind of with the ticker thing at the bottom, and she was like, oh no, that's totally fine. So she permits it, because she is lovely. And I think I used to always play her music two years ago from SoundCloud. And there's a ton of songs from like two years ago from her SoundCloud that are like some of my favorite songs from her. And she's been making songs ever since then, so like her SoundCloud's just like a Massive, massive music paradise, <laughs> in a way. So I just go to the SoundCloud and just hit play in all the tracks, it just goes through like everything she's put up there. There's just so much and it's so good, at least in my opinion. It's like, so the kind of style it has is totally my kind of thing. Wait, what was I looking at? Capitalism. Um, Experience in selling items. Oh. <gasps> oh wow, that looks really good. If I if I get rid of items I don't want, I can it automatically sells them for money. So anything that's just kind of annoying, I can like actually sell so it will have a use. Uh, wasn't I going for another bottle? Yeah, I was. Oh, that fireflies has appeared, I just realized. Where'd the bottle go? Oh, there it is. Sometimes items disappear behind the thing that crafted them. Like at these stations. And you're like, where's the item? It turns out it's there, it's just hidden. So there's a bit of a weird depth issue there. Where's the firefly? Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, I need to make steel as well, that's an important thing to get. Um... Because steel helps make these vaults, which are like treasure chests, and because your inventory can get full up, it's like essential to have these. Um, they're just quite expensive to make, but they're so worth it. Oh, Seth Shadow, yeah, this game is, uh, I think it came out like one or two years ago. But it's a really, kind of like a satisfyingly grindy and chill game. You've always got things to do, you're always making progress towards stuff. Oh my god, I'm being attacked! Uh, how do I do this? Okay. 
One, two. Why am I being attacked though? Where are they coming from? Oh, wasn't there a thing where I was able to... Like, you're able to sort of auto-ban if someone says a certain phrase? I think I remember... Uh, Ahmad managed to sort of... block that phrase. So it's for me to set that up right now or something. Um... <laughs> oh, set blacklist keywords. Okay. This is how I did it. So... Let me just... Use spaces in the field to specify multiple keywords. Place those around so like that, I think. If I'm not mistaken, that should be it done. So I think it should automatically ban if someone asks if I want to be famous. So hopefully that's now successfully implemented. Interesting. Oh, I caught fish while banning people. <laughs> or like banning bots. Yeah, the things that do the fishing automatically uh, pick up the fish for me, which is quite handy. So I don't need to run around gathering all the fish and stuff. Okay, so what I could probably do here is throw these down. If I had a bajillion berries, I could make a bajillion fish traps. Should be really convenient for getting me food and stuff. 17 fish! Oh wow, that's pretty good. Oh, the fireflies are it. I should get that bottle and try and find one. Hello? Ah, there we go. No, that's not the right... There we go. Okay, now I can talk to this guy who wanted me to catch this. Thank you for the critters. Can we keep these magic scrolls as a reward? It's normal getting bots like that. Uh, I've not ever had that many at once. I've only had a couple before. So that was kind of interesting to see. But hopefully blocking that keyword using the better Twitch TV plugin will help prevent those, or at least a lot of those bots. Because they all seem to use that exact same phrase. Which is, wanna become famous? You never get them? Hmm. Maybe I have a virus. Some strange virus somehow. <laughs> a virus exclusive to Twitch. Uh... Let's build bridges. Um, that's 
slime is gonna cause any problems. Very wasted. <coughs> right, um... So you get experience for mining... Oh. You get experience for mining stuff. And, um... You do eventually run out of resources, especially the ores. So it's like very much worth it to constantly just be breaking stuff. Uh, okay, I have fish. And I should be able to use this for my hotbar, but I forgot to do that. These fire f or these like fairies, you can use them and they will like give you experience like a tiny little bit, but you can catch them in bottles too, I think. Oh, okay, I just noticed. Um I think if I catch something in a bottle and use it, it makes the bottle itself disappear, so that means I'll have to make more glass. In order to get glass, I need sand, which I get by digging the ground. So I should dig the ground with my shovel. Do I just dig randomly? Or do I have to dig specific tiles? Oh god, oh wow, okay. Yeah, it seems like it's random. But you also get special uh, dirt or ground tiles that um, will give you a bunch of stuff. That's good. Um, so while that's happening, I'll make two threads. Uh, my goal is just to sort of get through the tech tree, I think. Or just kind of unlock everything. <clears throat> and in here, there's like a gallery. Um, So you can complete bundles just like Stardew Valley. And you will get stuff. Um. And, oh, okay, I guess I got one completed, but I don't know what it did. Apparently I was going to get things- oh, unless I need to complete every single one around each thing. Uh, just stuff all these in. <laughs> Although I'm kinda shying away from putting in too much ore because it's so useful. seem to be desired. Ah, there's a druid scroll. I don't even know what they do yet, but... <laughs> ah, there's the... the freebies and jars. Okay, looks like I'll need more sand. So I can make more glass. Oh, no wait, I can just eat fish from here, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. No, my dog would be useful here. Because they could help me pick up stuff.
Hopefully, at least. Yeah. You do get lightning from the weather effects here, and the lightning's kind of annoying. It makes a really sudden sound over and over and over for like 10 minutes or something. Hope it's not too loud. Oh! You gone, demon? Oh god, be gone, demon number two. <laughs> Wait, what's playing the skeleton? Oh, okay, Seth Shadow, thanks so much for coming. We'll see you again. Bye bye. Oh, you like the lightning? That's good. God, that looks like I was attacking the druid. Uh. Bye-bye, sir. I really wish I had a chainsaw, or like some kind of robot that just destroys everything for me. I love that. Oh wait, I can interact with these. So I'm guessing that's like one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, okay, that apparently did it. Can they make bottles? Nope, okay. Oh, I can make a slime sword, though. But I don't think I need it. I'd rather have this. be left of the game? Wait, I forgot what I said. I forgot the context. Oh, right. Um, means I could focus on other things. Oh, that was all the glass I could make. I If I had a stronger pickaxe, that'd be really good. Just having to sit there when there's so many things to mine and stuff. It's just a drag. Oh. Oh, I need to make another key, don't I? Bridges, please. This song's pretty nice. Oh, I pressed the wrong button.
This guy needs to really sort out his garden. Oh god, I killed a chicken. Oops. Right. I'm afraid the natural resource exploitation is still going rampant. Oh, he says that there's some jerk going around with a pickaxe destroying the world. And, um, he's trying to get my help to stop them, even though I am the person. Can you bring me some tree saplings? So I can make sure the forest is safe. 30? Huh, okay. God, I need a lot of oranges to make tree saplings. Oh, um, I realized upon entering this building, you can change the different hats and stuff. Oh, raccoon. Oh, oh that's adorable. <laughs> Slime a hat's nice, but it'd probably distract me. I'll wear this for a while. Oh wait, there's more! I forgot to actually check the other things. Oh, nuclear throw and fish. No wings yet? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I killed a cat, I didn't mean it. Oh wait, I'm already making enough. Stop! Stop! No! Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You've saved the forest from those guys with pickaxes. Oh god! I almost died. <laughs> he tried to crush me. Maybe he does know. That is me. craft my own money. Uh, you can buy areas, which unlocks more of the game, I guess? And it costs a lot of money, which is, like, each coin you craft gives you 12? 12 coins? So I need to build, like, over a hundred just for this patch of land. Um, so yeah, there's lots to do. Well, okay, maybe I did not need to do that after all. Every so often I'm just like, okay, craft all the just constantly be crafting, or like, uh, what's the word? Constantly be refining the ore, because that's just an automated thing that needs to be done.
Oh wait, okay, I can build a new vault, right? Yes! Okay, um... Sometimes I'm not even sure where to put them. I guess I'll throw it there. Like, is this, there's just some stuff I don't even know what to do with. Uh, things are still kind of messy. Fairies? Any fairies? Oh, no, okay. I guess I should plant these, shouldn't I? Um, had an idea. If I can build another vault, that is. Um, I could have a vault specifically for fishing goods. So all, all, everything that I would get would just automatically go into the fishing vault. So I wouldn't need to hold on to it. I th at least I think so. So, um... Ideally, if I can just keep crafting these... And also, ideally, if I can build more furnaces. Okay, uh... Snurky B! Aww, did you just start playing this recently too, Snurky? Um, I literally just started this morning. I got it through the Humble Bundle, and I squealed when I saw the game uh, in my list of games I'd gotten from the Humble Bundle subscription, because I've always wanted this one. Also, yeah, Wilds, and I love this music. It's almost like it doesn't matter what Wiffle composes, I'll like it. I got glasses! <laughs> Oh, it's an artifact, so that's actually going to passively increase uh, my experience forever. <laughs> I think I don't need to worry about picking all this stuff up because my dog can just do it all for me. I seem to have this glitch where I just get stuck on nothing. Wait, as if I'm snagged on a corner or something. Hello, friend. I have a final- a final quest? Only three quests? Involves finding a rare dinosaur egg. If I can get this egg, I will be able to raise and protect the creature. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. He just wants a pet, really. test this dog theory out, so I'll set him loose and he'll just go ahead and pick up all the stuff. Spirit Orb! Oh, cool. Yeah, see? My dog just does it all. <laughs> I better throw this bed down because it's annoying. I can dodge roll? That was an accident, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so I press A to enter the... Nope, nope, nope. Wow, this is all going wrong. Uh... <laughs> Get the way, dog! Ah! Okay. 
Okay, uh... So I can just throw it down there? Okay, good. As long as the bed's out my hotbar, I'm happy. Although I think all this time I could've just removed it manually, but I never thought of that. <clears throat> Sometimes the dog gets, like, stuck, so they just kinda teleport to me. Ideally, I would like more of these furnaces, too. As pretty as this windmill is, it's kind of blocking my view here. So let's just smash it. And I can just throw down a new one. that's not going to be in the way. No, okay, I can run past, that's good. Okay, so I'll build more of these. build another here. Oh wait, I can build more steel than I realized. Okay. So I can just have all these furnaces just making everything. That's a lot of bricks. So bricks take stone and coal. farm this little island more. Because I feel like so much stuff spawns here. <laughs> it's too cozy, it just gets overrun with trees. <clears throat> and rocks, you can't even move. Although, I guess I could build rafts. Sometimes the cursor just moves to something I don't want to break open, like these rafts. Oh, the raft just healed itself, that's good. <gasps> My 
dog didn't do his job and he didn't pick up all this stuff. Bad doggo. You didn't do your job. Ah! Oh no! Fish also heals me for one heart, so... If I take damage, I can just heal with the cooked fish. Nice place for a picnic. Oh. You could have a picnic with all the rocks. And you could have rock candy. I'm sure it's a human delicacy they could get behind. Wait, Tails, you make candles? Or are candles a, a kind of candy? Look what, I think I need to start manufacturing some berry bushes. Oh, candies! Oh, sorry, the eyes really... Eyes really close. <laughs> Candies on. I'm not used to seeing that word used in that way, actually. I, I've never heard of it, or I usually don't hear of it uh, pluralized. Let's get some berry seeds. Oh, I need six. Okay. <clears throat> Why is the bridge under farming? That's strange to me. So many slides! Yeah, I was about to get really excited because, um, my mum makes candles. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're like a witch, but in, in a cool way. You're like an alchemist, doing alchemistry or something. Oh god, what happened there? Mm. <clears throat> I'd love to make candles. I would actually commission my mum to make some. Because I just want candles so much. Better make more fish. Oh god, uh... Hmm, right, yeah. Say it's a hazard, it makes me kind of worried about using them. Like, oh god, wait, what if I set everything on fire? I 
It's like, I feel like it's something I could do, maybe. Throw bones at me. Seeds. Right, um. Why do they automatically go in here? My level of violence just increase? Another ball. Oh, I did. Oh, I forgot to do that, I guess. I just realized I've done those fish traps around. right into my hand. Those berry seeds are here. Okay, good. already said this, but yeah, sometimes the dog just walks in front of me and eats my uh, cursor because the game thinks that I might want to like interact with the dog while I'm trying to mine something. Aww. I'm glad you're comfy. Another thing I need to store. It's in here, along with an anchor I found. 
somehow an anchor got hauled up by the fish trap, and I don't understand how that could possibly happen. Okay, beat root, anchor. Bug on. <laughs> you know what I need to do? I need to spend my skill points. Alchemy? Considering I have a lot of stuff, it's probably going to be very useful. Although, it did not actually do much. Oh well. I should get this one. I need ore. This will help a lot. <clears throat> I can eat rocks? Okay. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Oh wait, stone and brick. Never mind. <laughs> wait, didn't I get that one? Oh no, I was going to get that one. Money. Why did that tree bounce? So that tree squish about for some reason. Fish is just going in there. Stuff spawns so quickly. I got stuck on something and there's nothing here. This game's crazy. Just digging around for sand now.
Oh, Gat's really confused about where I'm trying to aim. Like, I think it's more aligned to where I'm facing sideways rather than up and down. But when I get to an edge, it just breaks for some reason. to harvest eggs more. I keep forgetting I can do that. See, that cursor thought I was trying to murder that little chicken. It's like, oh, the chicken's close! You're gonna aim behind you at the chicken. So every time an animal moves close, I've gotta be careful. Because I don't want to kill them, because I just... I usually just don't enjoy killing domestic animals in games like this. Because they're so cute. And I can eat... like... You know, I can eat crops and stuff. Go. Give me bottles. Oh no. annoying is that you can't queue up additional things to craft. You can only kind of give it one single kind of task to do. And if you try adding more it just kind of ejects everything and crafts the new thing you wanted. I like to sleep so that it can become light out again, but it I think it despawns all like the fireflies and stuff.
Yeah, it's a little annoying, but it's not, like, really that bad at all. are adorable in this game. So I especially don't want to kill them. Uh, okay. Stop putting the seeds in there! I need them. No, wrong one. There's no total seeds that I'm planting either when I do that. Like, it doesn't show up. This is a little... A little hard to arrange once you're in that, uh, screen. Like, how many left do I have? I don't know. I have to press two more buttons just to find out. It's just a bit annoying. God, I got another level. It'd be nice to see how many you can craft in total as well, but it doesn't do that either. It's because instead of put assigning all the crafting to just one of them, you can split it into two halves, and if you could see how many you had craftable, you could just easily set it to half. But it doesn't really let you do that. As instantly as you'd like it. A bajillion fish. Okay, I should check out the skills again. Double items sounds really good, actually. I'm gonna get this one. Oh no, not drilling, it's evil. <laughs> Harvest the land. I, I feel like there potentially is multiple endings to this game. It, it's hard to tell though. The game's so silly at times, with the guy not realizing that you're the problematic person going around with the pickaxe and stuff. So I can't fully tell if 
there is actually going to be like a second ending or anything. <laughs> I should eat. I'd like to build one of these as well, like another one. Okay, good, so I can make more money. Oh, double items, yes. Okay, uh, I need to jump in here now, see if I can complete any more bundles. And throw these in, these in. Eggs. Oh! I can milk cows! Using the bottles. I never thought of that. And I guess golden eggs are a random drop. Uh, flowers. I missed that one. Cactus. Button. These in, these in, okay. A <laughs> golden goose, aw, oh, maybe. Ooh, potions. <laughs> I'm still not really focusing on collecting the ores yet. Oh, anchor! I have one of those! Oh, 50 steel, jeez. Leather, oh that's something I haven't started doing, have I? Well those guys just suddenly spawn. Oh gimme that cow! Yes! More cows! I forgot I run faster when I run diagonally. Oh, this island has so much gold. <laughs> God, the music is just so nice. Hunger was just tied to time, but I realize it's actually tied to how much I swing my uh, pickaxe. Startling. Pumpkins? <laughs> I accidentally dodged that slime. And again. <laughs> So many berries. 
Yeah, that was a lot of them. Jeez. So if I, oh, just wasted that adversary. I was gonna throw berries in here, wasn't I? And foraging. Yeah. Except there are no berries! <clears throat> Where are the berries? Put them in here for no reason. I can throw these in. Oh, look at that poor fairy! <laughs> Wait, what the? They face up when I face this way, but when I face this way, they're under sight. That's interesting. I don't know if that's intentional. It's maybe a glitch they just didn't notice. <clears throat> the seeds in here. Oh, I can't get it out because I'm full of them. <clears throat> that dog teleported in front of me. Just sit down. Dog. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna feel so bad, but hope you don't mind, sir, if I just place a vault for the fireflies and stuff there. Oh, I can get that dino egg by digging, probably. If I keep digging, you'll probably find it. Let me get more bridges going. Chicken, as cute as they are, they're in the way. Fiber in there and flowers and bones, maybe.
Oh, I really need to run diagonally more. It's so fast. <laughs> so much faster than just simply running upwards. I think. Unless I'm just imagining it. Another chicken's gotten stuck in that ball. This keeps happening. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the first time that happened, it I was like alt tabbed. And I was just like, something happened. I completely missed it and eventually found that star somewhere. Well, the star? Oh. Or, or the chicken. <laughs> the chicken, yeah. <laughs> wants to be milked, although I can't milk them. <laughs> you know, I love songs and xylophones like this. For some reason they just feel so right to me. Uh, I need more bottles. Give me. towards the bundles, so that's going to take so long with some of these items. Spaces I can buy. Uh, and I feel like I'm favoring the more expensive one. Ooh. Oh, I what? Was I pressing the wrong button this whole time? Oops.
Oh, that dog ran for that poop that came out. Oh no, I put the dog in. Come back. Okay. Oh, that's an enemy. Charges at you. No eggs, okay. Um I feel like I'm never gonna get the mining done unless I just put stuff in manually now and again. Almost like having a savings account. Pray just usually don't look at what you're putting in. I got an achievement addicted! Thanks. Makes me feel good. <laughs> Reminds oh god, a, a bone boy. Another bone boy. Maybe I just listened to this one before. Oh my god, why? <laughs> okay, uh... Sorry, it was just very startling. Dog, stop it! Right, um... What the, the dog just appeared in front of me, I think. I'm gonna have to avoid the items that are dropped because my dog just runs in front of me when I do that. Do you want to kill this scary monster, or do you want to kill the poor little chicken who's not ever going to hurt you? <clears throat> and then the game's like, oh, they're all the same. I need to prioritize. Oh, right, I need to... Oh, this looks fancy. I 
wonder why. <gasps> Cactus fruit! Oh, hot peppers. Nice. You know what we need? Another vault. I'm running them as fast as I placed them before. Oh, it's so nice. Like, there's, there's some old songs from the SoundCloud that I remember hearing. It's like, I hear them again, but, like, enhanced. Because Wiffle must have, like, returned to work on them somewhere. For, except where I want it. <laughs> yeah. Super boring. Double license. It feels very special. Items means double milk from my double cows. I can put it in my single museum next to my triple signs that are now zero. <clears throat> uh, what was I doing? I was farming. And put my milk inside. Sorry, that sounded very naughty. I did not mean that. Uh, so this would be under foraging, right? What are those? It's like a couple dark plants, I guess, and then like some kind of mushroom light thing. Insects and stuff, meals, potions, fancy things. Oh, I wonder what these are. Oh, did I? I don't know if I put the anchor in yet. I should grab those. Be so many berries. Hey, 
you, Mr. Quaker. Yeah, I've wanted this game for a while, and I got it from the Humble Bundle. Uh... I think it was like... You can now pick your free... Or not free, but you can now pick your... Humble Bundle games. And I realized Forager was here, and I was like... <gasps> Forager! <clears throat> And I knew I, like, I've not been doing very well recently, uh, mentally. And so I, my plan today was just to kind of go and do some, well, just focus on playing games for once. And so, Forger came up, which was, like, ideal. And I decided, probably, if I streamed, uh... And I guess it felt like I was voice chatting with people, like, doing a stream. I'd probably kind of keep my mind off of the bad thoughts I've been having recently. Okay, what are those cows doing up there? <laughs> <clears throat> They're just, like, running into a corner. Looks very silly. Take so long to make. They're just such a ex they're such expensive products to make simply because of the fact that sand doesn't appear that often. Also, if I go here, oh, I can just build a market. Yeah, I need to build a market somewhere, just anywhere. This will be rough, but there we go. That'll do. I have no idea what's going on. Bye. Oh, I don't want those. I want sand. I want only sand. I want all the sand you could possibly give me and more. Details. I should try that. So, Mr. Quaker, what, um... Sort of what I have to do is craft stuff. In order to get... Well, stuff. And, uh... I can build more advanced things with that stuff. And so, I'm kind of needing to constantly be getting resources, and, um... <laughs> constantly getting resources. And the ultimate goal is... I don't know, actually. Just exploring, I guess. That's all I know right now. Also, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's much sand here. So smug, by the way. Oh. No, nope, it's just not good enough. Are you kidding me? The pickaxe aimed like more than like one or two spaces down specific. <gasps> Specifically, just to change my aim somewhere else.
Um, I guess I'd better keep digging. Need all the sand I can possibly get. sell the milk for a lot of money. Sell for 15. Sell for 15. Okay, so it seems like selling them through the marketplace doesn't actually give you more if it's an active item. It's only just stuff that's available for sale. The dog looks similar to me? Oh wait! You're, I see what you mean. I thought you meant like my character in the game. That's a cute comparison. I never thought of that. Oh, what? Don't hit the invulnerable stone! You know what I haven't done yet? Well, okay, actually, there's a lot of things I haven't done yet, but, um... Okay, let me grab some gems. No, I mean, all the gems. And I'll run here, throw these in. And then, archaeology, I'll put this anchor that I've been carrying in. Okay, so next I need... yellows, reds, and... pinks, purples. So, all those and all those. Another tree blocks my path to the museum. Right, throw these in and these in. Yeah, I need to go into that desert room. I just keep forgetting because I get so distracted by other things. Oh, I haven't dug... Uh, or Works down here in a pile. Trying to dodge all the slimes in this visual chaos. Dog. Please. I'd love if the dog did stuff like fought for me, but no. All the dog does is pick up items. This dog needs to learn how to use a shovel so he can dig for me. Run in here. That looks ominous. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> oh. What the? 
What the? How? Like, hmm. like this doesn't look like a button. Oh, okay. There's just an area of effect thing. What's that? <laughs> I have a feeling three strikes is like the magic number here. This is a dungeon? This is so cool! Puzzle time on. I'm just exhausted. Um. Okay, I've got some useless stuff I don't need. I'll just. Try and empty my pockets of it. Dog, please! I'm trying to dig here! Thank god dogs don't do that to you in real life. It's like you're trying to drive a car, then suddenly you look down and the dog is in your hands instead of the driving wheel and you crash your car. Wait a minute. Oh wait, no. Every single one of these is 43 gold, right? Not seven of them in a bundle. Yeah, oh god. I could have resold those, but that's probably not how it works. It'd just be too easy to exploit, probably. I could just recycle one cow? Wow. Like how you implied, or like, well, I guess not implied, but you... Or, I mean, I guess implied. I, get, I like how you implied that you crash your car all the time. <laughs> oh, the cows are adorable. I could buy this and then make gold with it, but then I realized I'm throwing away gold to make slightly less gold, so it just would not work. Actually, I'm making gold? I should just try to sell stuff. Yeah, I should try and do that more. Imagine animals in England running around in the old days sailing in British accents. Aww. I think a lot of TV adverts here have done that already. <laughs>
don't look at me, you cow. What did you call me? It's never about all that and it just turns out it's about cars or something. Something completely irrelevant to animals. <laughs> Hello, Betsy. How's your car insurance? Stuff like that. Ooh, all that gold just wait for me. Yeah, I have a lot of this stuff, so oh wait. Oh it only sells for four though. It sounds bonkers. <laughs> so I was gonna clear my inventory like half an hour ago. Um... I don't know why that's going in my pockets. Um... Going in here, and so is this. As well, through the milk in here too. Am I able to make another vault? Because that'd be very useful. Yay! Go in here, so it's thread. Poop. Maybe sand? Oh, it's becoming more expensive for me to build these vaults. I guess I uh, don't kind of break the game. And make just like infinite space and then not have the challenge of like managing my space and stuff. Oh, I did not watch the concert. I completely forgot there was a concert because I was too busy focused on the fact that they that Toby Fox actually asked for people to send in their applications. So all my attention was on me trying not to be sick from excitement and anxiety and nervousness from me submitting my portfolio to them. Uh, because I knew that that was something I just absolutely had to do. Oh, there is a monster. I really need to watch that concert though. The sound is lovely. I I'm trying to hit this tree. I swear I'm trying to hit this tree. See, this is- this is the problem with this cursor. Oh my god, I got it, because the fairy slightly moved down. The thing is, the- 
Hitting the fairy with the pickaxe is absolutely nothing. You can't harvest it with the pickaxe. So it's bizarre to me that they would... Try to be like... Oh yeah, you're aiming your pickaxe at the fairy, right? Nothing else. So that's a little bit... That's something I think they could definitely fix. It just makes it slightly more jankier than it needs to be. Wait, are my pockets empty yet? I keep saying I'm trying to do that. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to throw this bottle in here. I'm going to put the gold in here, just so that the vaults know where I want things. Can? I can't get eggs anywhere. I don't know what's wrong. That's all fine. Time to go into this dungeon! Oh god, oh god. Stuck. Okay, now I've got a ruby to worry about and an emerald, so let's throw those in. I'll make one more glass just so I can get this out of my pocket. Right. Leave me alone! I'm gonna jump into this dungeon. And as I thought, it's all gonna reset. Um, which is fine. That's why I kind of wanted to get out of the dungeon earlier rather than later, because of the possibility of it maybe resetting. I love open world crafter adventure games, yeah. It's really fun. I'd love to make a game like this. Ooh. But okay, I'm gonna be right back, because I need to go to the bathroom. So I'll see you in a couple minutes.
Hello, I'm Mac. <laughs> Let's delve into the dungeon. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> ah, it hit me! Wonder why. Ooh. Wasted. You just got wasted, partner. Okay. Sorry, my arms are a little wet from the bathroom still. From, uh, sorry, <laughs> from washing my hands from the bathroom. Thing he's powering them. I see. That I did that did not connect for a while. Delver. That might be on my Steam wish list, but it might also not be. But I think I've seen it before. I just realized my dog's not here. I feel a little bit lonely now. Oh. Probably can't tank it. I was playing Terraria recently, by the way, and I couldn't find copper, and so the game was just extremely slow and I just felt bad. No! Is this when it got to nighttime, it was just far too dark. Yeah, um, the world was just far too dark, I couldn't see anything, there were zombies everywhere. And I, could, I would build some torches, but not enough to really stop all the monsters spawning, it was just a, it's just a mess. Oh, interesting. Missing something important with this battery thing. Oh, I can push it. D just let me punch it. Why would I want to attack this thing? It doesn't do anything. I can't even push it downwards. What? I'm so confused by this. And now it's stuck! Oh wait, I can... I can pull it as well, I think? Oh god, this is so weird. <laughs> At least I can pull it, it helps with getting it loose. I, I spent like two hours, I think, in Terraria and I just got literally nowhere. I was like, this is too expensive time-wise. So I just gave up. 
Yeah, it would have been good with friends. Ooh, money! There is a bombable thing there. Need to find a way to blow that up. Ow! I need two batteries. Um... How could I do that? I think there's a way to get No, this is a this this battery has to stay here. Otherwise I'd be stuck. So um Yeah, let's take this away from here. T-Mod Loader with Terraria? Oh, interesting. Okay, we're doing it! Woohoo! Oh wow, we're getting a lot of money from this, I think. Yeah, I've, I've never really gotten a chance to play normal Terraria with all the weapons and stuff. you all. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's kind of mainly why I was playing Terraria, it's because I've never managed to... It's like, I think the most I got was gold armor. Or gold, sorry, gold equipment. I've never been to, like, the hell area. And I'm like, there's so much I've missed. Thunder Rod. Oh my gosh. That looks very useful. Whoa, ho, ho, wow. Seems to... Seems to only want me to aim one way for some reason. Like... It's like stuck. <laughs> Not sure if I... Oh! Okay, this is silly. Oh! Hey, wow, okay, that worked. I didn't expect that. Ow! Oh my god, that happened to me last time. Aww, it'd be nice if you helped me. <laughs> Just, I've... You and other friends, I think, inspired me to kind of try to play more of Terraria because you love the soundtrack. And you, like, knew all the songs and stuff. You were singing along to them. And, um... I was just like, God, I like Terraria a lot, but I played it, like, right as it came out in Early Access, so it was super basic. And I really enjoyed it, but... I just hadn't managed to play that much of the game. Especially concerning there's, like, a billion bosses and stuff. And so much, like, late-game content. So, there is... There's still so much I've missed, so I need to... Need to try and uh, 
get to if I possibly can. Oh my god, stop. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, this game is good. It's just really fiddly sometimes. Like, I'm just battling with the game itself, just trying to get normal stuff working. Is that a secret? Wait, but... The, the door? I, I can't remember what you're talking about. Not sure if my stream has maybe got a lot of delay or something. Oh. Oh, I need... Oh, go away. No, no, oh my god, I need to heal. But I have to use two buttons for this. Ugh. Wow, that destroys him. It's like I have to aim and shoot with one hand. I think. Hold on. Oh no, it works with the trigger. Okay, that's a lot easier. Oh, that's okay. <clears throat> the boss key? Oh, wow. Here we go! Oh, oh. I guess that's the whole boss. Oh. Oh no. Oh god, I gotta, gotta take care of the little guys. Oh god, no, 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 no. This is not good. I'm running. Damn it. <laughs> no! Okay, I'm totally cheating with that, but I'm just so scared. Hold on. Hold on. Look at this. I'm gonna run out of fish. They're coming out the door. What's happening? How are you supposed to not cheese this? Okay, let me look at the... Hmm... Okay, let's try again. Oh my goodness. That was definitely not supposed to happen. <laughs> I 
Yeah, Tails, I don't know how I was possibly supposed to survive all that. What? It has a permanent tick on it. <laughs> well, I guess it was a happy ending? Because I did destroy a poor thunder... thunder machine. I can buy more stuff though. Is that red? Oh, that's the end of the world. Oh, reach the end of that side, anyway. I wonder if this fairy is still in my idea. Let my fairies rest your weary body. Need to ask you for a very small donation. Work you with the power of my fairies. Um okay, so they didn't steal my idea. Like you. Give me your eggs. Oh, okay. Chimkin. <laughs> You're amazing and we love you. Favorite person in the history of ever. I am hungry. We should be friends, like seriously, a lot. I grow younger, I want to be a you. <laughs> we will never stop loving you. <laughs> You're amazing, me love you. Oh. It's nice to be loved. Especially in a world where people can genuinely hate you. Um, okay. It would be nice to connect this area. Oh, I'm really hungry, by the way. I'm hungry in real life, too. No, the cow! I wasn't even close to them! That was not what I wanted. Why 
is this? Sugar. Uh, do I even need... Aww, a pleasant vegetable, yeah. To be completely honest, that vegetable made me feel a lot better about myself. Like, like, honestly. Because of things recently. They remind me that there's people that are just... That will love you unconditionally and make you feel like you're so worth it. So I really need people like that in my life. I'm so lucky to even have any friends whatsoever. I really try my best. Sometimes my best isn't good enough. Some people interpret my best as, like, potentially evil or something. And it's just... Makes things really difficult. Uh... Um, okay. I have like a billion levels I need to spend. Management. <gasps> Vaults may have locked item slots. I don't know what that means, but... Sending stuff from the inventory sounds lovely. Mm, Vaults have more inventory slots, yes! Gimme that. Unlocks lighthouses. Doubles light radius in the dark. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. This one. My house is a double area of effect. My mining rods have double area of effect. Power plants. Ballistas. I didn't even know you could make ballistas. But, yeah, I want that light radius, I think. That's good. All that stuff is good. Um, I was like, have my fishing things, like, stopped? Are they broken? But I remembered, it's just because I've been in that, um, dungeon, and I had to heal so much that, um, the fish things weren't, uh, finding stuff, because I was in another place. Wait a minute. Okay, I placed all of these. Forgetting that I don't actually need to... ...go next to things to collect things from them. So, I could actually put more in this area. If I had more berries, that is. Oh, I guess it doesn't want me to get too many. Mm. 
Oh. Yeah, th this game seems to have a good sense of balance. Like, I can't just craft a billion things. And then simply just, uh... Reap millions of rewards just because, um, of the... Momentum you get as you get more and more automation and stuff. So they've made it so that it's, it gets exponentially more expensive. So you need 36 berries instead of just what I think was 6 berries at first for fish traps. It feels good because it's more fun that it's a challenge, in a sense, to make more and more. <clears throat> it's actually like a valid concern, like I, like I enjoy that as a player. Yeah, the upgrades are awesome. Second ball. Oh no. Uh, okay, I'll put that in. Take this out. I like how the bottle beetle flies out of my hand, and then I have to pick it up again. Okay, he can join his family and kids in the museum. For they're waiting for him. I can swing my pickaxe in the beat of the song. Oh! I got ambushed. Well, that fairy's blocking my path. Can't do anything about that. What is this stuff? When did I get that? It just appeared at an over. It's valuable as well, gosh. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff here. wants me to kill the wrong thing. Like, all the time. Aww. I'm glad everybody likes this music. Because 
I love it too. It's like one of my favorite composers who composed for one of my favorite games. And also happens to be a really, really lovely person. Is it? <gasps> Don't attack my bed! What's wrong with you? How evil do you have to be to attack a bed? Yeah, after I completed Freedom Planet and just thought like, gosh, this game's so special, the music's so lovely. Uh, I reached out to Wiffle on SoundCloud. Um, just because I wanted to just tell her like, I love the music you did for this game. And she replied and she was just like talking to me like, with respect and everything. So you could tell she really cared. There's just so many people and artists that just act like, huh, I'm too good for you. Who are you again? Eh, uh, probably no one. There's like a lot of artists that kind of act like that, unfortunately. So yeah, she's just so lovely. She'll never sleep again. <laughs> oh, the bed. <laughs> ah. Beast, ow! Oh yeah, I need to go in here, don't I? <clears throat> so I'm looking for alchemy. Oh wow, okay, that's good. And this means I can just sell the others. Oh, all that dosh! All that moolah. can pay the fairy, right? Oh, she's gone. She wants a thousand gold. Uh, I want to work on games again. I want to work on that Minesweeper game. Just currently I'm busy with the artwork and stuff. I feel like Minesweeper is going to be an easy game to make on the surface, but I know that games just take so long to get done because of just how much bug fixing there is. How much of a pain it's going to be to just sit through for a whole day and fix one bug. And just feel exhausted from doing basically what feels like basically nothing.
So is this going to be another project I end up starting? It's just going to take so long to get going. Unless I just lower my standards and be like, well, if this feels janky, then whatever. Playing this game, although it's quite simple, it's a- uh, oh. What's XP from gathering herbs and crops? Only one obelisk can be active at a time. Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh, I've received a buff. Maybe- maybe the big monster would be a better thing to attack game. <laughs> Instead of the tree that's, like, not even where I'm facing. Like, it, it doesn't understand where I'm aiming. Maybe I was actually facing down, but it's just hard to see because my guy only faces left or right. It's hard to say. Fairy? Where's the fairy gun? Gotta mind me. <laughs> Oi, wake up. You stinky fairy, just get up. I have money to give you. Aha, there you are. Thank you, you are so kind. Even though I just called you Stinky. Please take this as a token of our gratitude. Ooh! It's locked! You're so generous! As thank you! Here's a locked treasure chest! <laughs> Ooh, I'm about to level up. Why did that... What? Why did that produce an egg? Of all things. <laughs> that is weird. Oh, 35. That's so nice. <laughs> Tails, you're cute. For saying such a thing. But you're not wrong, nonetheless. <laughs> to get the key, I'll need a thousand more. Produce double by chance. Oh, it's so cute! Passive health and energy regeneration. <gasps> wow, that's really good. Oh, 
was wrong too. Did I say something? Oh, I called you cute. I forgot. Okay. How can I be exhausted when I have the blessing of the fairies? Levy asked, staring at her energy bar. <gasps> it lied! Is there something I have to, like, activate? Oh, I'm angry. Why is this cow in here? Oh, sorry, sorry, that's a bit sensual. Sorry, sorry. Look at all the money. Oops, I didn't even do it. Uh, <laughs> Look at all that dosh coming in. Double gold. Oh gosh, it's so much money. So much industry. <clears throat> I'm exploding with experience and level ups. <laughs> This isn't giving me so much, um, pizzazz, getting overwhelmed in a good way. Hey, Marks. In this game, printing your own money is the way to go. Also, welcome to the stream. Also, thanks for asking me if I was going to stream again. At some point, because it actually really helped me feel like streaming. It's not Wind Waker, but it is this at least. <gasps> oh my god! Right, Ren! Hello! Or so I prefer to call you my good friend Mikey. Mikey. Is this a game you've played, Mikey? Oh, <laughs> time to fool the purr into growing my economy. Oh, he just woke up. Oh. I should eat. Time to print more. Your homework, uh, <clears throat> have you been getting on okay with like the online classes and stuff? Because I've, I've only ever heard pain from all the students trying to deal with the uh, online systems, and I feel so bad for them. Like, I'm lucky I don't have to worry about that stuff again. I can only imagine how frustrating it is. Yeah. I made this dress myself. <laughs> That's adorable. I want to make her a dress in real life. 
I can sew, kind of. I made a Tau Kaka cosplay. If I can make that, I can make anything. Even if I use fairy silk. Not made from real fairies. Just as a disclaimer. <gasps> it's a bone boy! Aww. I appreciate the flattery, thank you. Oh, Mr. Quaker, I feel like there's just so much you've... Well, so much I have to kind of catch you up on. But it doesn't really span too far back, honestly. It's just, like... I guess with the thing I've most been, like, devastated by recently, um... Which started happening since, like, about a month or, like, six weeks ago. Um, it kind of gets a bit complicated as to the reasons why, but just recently I made the decision to just tr stop trying to do everything and only try and focus on spending time and energy doing just a few things and then placing other cool things I want to do in the future. Like, I want to make a t-shirt shop, but instead of worrying about it now, I'm just gonna- th I just thought, I'll- I'll do that sometime later. Like, I can- I can do that in a couple years. It's not urgent. I really want to do it, but it's not urgent at all. So I can spend my time doing- doing other things instead. Like, focusing on artwork and focusing on streaming. Which are things I quite enjoy doing. So, basically, things have just kind of gotten a lot simpler in my life. And it feels really good to actually not be worrying about everything. Um... See, so it feels really good to just be streaming and not worrying that I'm streaming for too long or not doing enough work outside of the stream and stuff. And it feels good to be able to focus on the stream as well. Um. Aww. I appreciate it. Also, I'm sorry I didn't reply on Instagram. Because you sent me- you sent me so many things for me to look at. And I never logged into Instagram and forgot it was even a thing. And I realized there's like maybe 200 things you've shared to me over the years. Over the like one or two years. Um, and I, I just felt bad like... Even though I was never responding to you, you just kept sending me stuff. And I just appreciate your dedication, even though I wasn't even responding at all. Yeah, I think you stopped sending stuff maybe last year, but even so, there was so much. Yeah, you're just set, you're just sharing like cool things you find on Instagram with me. And I only noticed your, uh, or, or I only noticed those messages on Instagram. Um, I was looking for uh, like an account for drama purposes or something. I can't quite remember who it was, but that was the reason I logged into Instagram for the first time in ages. And I was like, oh, I forgot I even had an account on here. I forgot about this platform. It was just for a art post you were, like, sharing. <clears throat> oh, 
this year's been so crazy, but, like, I mean, I know I've been feeling really bad recently, but, like, very long term, everything's felt pretty good, actually. I'm so much more of a stable person in some really deep and important ways. I learned so many important lessons this year. It's really been insane. It's nothing, it's not even anything to do with the pandemic. It's all just like social stuff online and like stuff I was just really emotionally invested in in my life. Just, I don't know, just, I've managed to calm down, I've managed to be happier with less, I guess? In a sense? Yeah. So, is your preferred place to talk just Instagram? I think you retired from Discord, didn't you? Instagram's easiest? Okay. Oh gosh, this, this means I'm gonna have to make sure I've got that open as well. I've got... I've got Twitter DMs, Discord... I've got Skype now for one person. And I'll have Instagram for another person. Uh, I feel like there's also other platforms I'm forgetting a bit, maybe? Emails? <laughs> I don't know if that one counts. You literally didn't talk to one press as well? Oh. oh, yeah, I've been holed up at home as well. We had a couple picnics uh, with social distancing over this summer. And those were is so lovely. This is so great to be able to talk to people again face to face. Because, you know, I'm in this house on my own. I don't see anyone. I've definitely been going a bit crazy from it. Like, online friends help, but like, when you just don't see anyone for a while, it's just like you just start to lose touch of like... Um, how do I even word it? I'm mining a lot of gold. I should uh, craft all that. Hold on. Can I like not do that? I have a better idea of what to do. Actually, okay. I'll leave the gold. For Hey Dan! Welcome, good to see you. Oh my god! And Splash too! And Duke! Split! Oh my gosh. Hello everyone. <laughs> what was I saying about craziness? I know, I'll get back to that in a second. Crazy is just a side effect of awesomeness? Oh, well, I guess being awesome is kind of painful in the long run. <laughs> oh, but yeah, um... What was I saying about craziness again? Um... Oh wow, I need a lot of these... Mushroom things. Wait, what is this? I picked this up ages ago. Royal Steel. Oh, wow. My attitude, bitch.
So I need crystals. <clears throat> I think I have enough topaz, and I need some kind of scroll. Hmm. There's some spooky things to collect. Oh, I should try and get that steel one, if I can. Oh, wow! I, I don't know when I got all those, but I guess I got them. That's good. Uh, so then I just need some of the rarer ones to complete that bundle. I maybe shouldn't have thrown those in. I could have planted more, but it's probably fine. Cooking? I, st I haven't even touched cooking. Uh, okay. That all seems good. <clears throat> it's bedtime! Where's the bed? There it is. I want to be able to see. Okay, anyway, I was saying something about craziness, um, I'm trying to work out how to explain... How to like, explain the feeling. I guess it's like, you just get really paranoid that everything's over, because your social life's over, in a way, and you feel like you're just really lonely and trapped, in a sense. Super rare! Okay, I, I don't think I'm getting you mixed up, but I might be. Super rare, you were a streamer and mixer, right? I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty certain you were, but I'm just asking just in case for some reason I'm mixing you up. Ah, yeah, okay. Good to see you. There's, some names sometimes look like people that I meet on Discord, I'm like... I do just want to make sure I'm not, like, making a really clumsy mistake. Also, yeah. Started streaming early. Usually I'm a bit shy to start streaming as early as this, but... I don't know. There's maybe no point in being too anxious about it. I've been getting stream anxiety a lot the past month-ish. Mixering him up. <laughs> I mean, you're not awake at this time. Aww. Missing in action? Aww. Yeah. Have you just been taking some time away, time and space away to just kind of recover? Because I... I've been in need of that for so long. I feel like only recently have I been actually starting to do that. Oh gosh, yeah. Sit down, boot up OBS, then close OBS and watch a YouTube video. Oh god, yeah, sometimes I have moments like that. I open OBS, and as I'm getting ready to stream, I have like an anxiety attack, and then just... I have to just like, curl up in bed or something. <laughs> I haven't realized it before, but I'm like really emotional. It's a huge aspect of who I am, and I never properly realized it for so long.
Every morning streams for year are the best time to shoot into chill streams. Aw. Yeah, Dan, that's nice. Ooh, what's this? I don't know what you are. <gasps> no! I was about to buy that shit! Void gate? I can't even afford that. That's super expensive. <coughs> oh, who are you? Oh. Boom. Atomic bomb. Wow. Um, nuclear fuel cell. Obsidian. I'll buy your obsidian because that looks rare. Unless it's just on an island, I have to unlock it sometime, but... <laughs> we need the bomb. Like, I've been wondering if this game has, like, a bad ending if you go to industrial or something. Oops, I killed a cat. And I see Atomic Bomb and I'm like, oh no. I feel like it's really going down that route. the wrong thing again. Uh... The bomb will solve all my problems. The fact it'll give you exciting new problems is besides the point. Am I- am I the titular verger? Maybe... Maybe it's like, I will buy. For you think you are the boy who is an owl. But it turns out you are in fact one of several boy owls. <laughs> and that's the big twist. It's, it's not really the big twist, but it's like a, a tiny twist you realise later on. And I, I believe Hollow Knight does the same thing. It's like, I am a knight, and I look hollow, so I must be Hollow Knight. It turns out, no, you are just a knight. And Hollow Knight is another knight. So maybe I am one of many foragers. Maybe it's like a fourth wall breaking situation. Where the player is actually forging the main character in some way. Aww. <laughs> Aww, Eddie! Hello! Welcome. Carbonara fire noodles sound really nice. <clears throat> uh, I wanna play- I wanna stream Hollow Knight. That'd be fun. I, I really like hard games. So that'd be cool. Some of those bosses are really hard, unless you've got, like, the perfect setup of, um, pins. Or badges, or whatever they're called. Very cheesy, spicy, and good. Aww. Uh, 
uh, I fell into the, like the classic Dark Souls trap of like um, feeling at a boss and then just thinking, man, this area is not the boss. Like the walk back isn't the boss. I'll just I'll just rush through it and then like, I get overwhelmed by enemies that I would normally have killed. And then I die and lose all my souls and lose so much money. And then I'm just like, that is so frustrating. It's not only humiliated, but I was also robbed. I couldn't get to my corpse. Um, I will say I got an ending of Hollow Knight. I think I got the main first one. But there's very clearly more that I haven't done, so there's probably a lot more to do. Yes, give me the eggs! Some- so many animals get stuck in the structures, like, they're everywhere! You just get stuck in there forever and can't move. In a way it's nice because then you won't run in front of my pickaxe and die. In a way it's also annoying because I sometimes can't even access them. Oh, oops, that was the wrong one. The true boss was the walk from spawn each time. Aw. Oh. Aw, oh, Mr. Quaker. Four secret endings? Wow. Oh, wait, half. And craft. That. So they're just morphing into bacon now. <laughs> I think technically I do need to kill them for resources I, as much as I hate to say it. I, I, that one I can't even get to. They're just stuck in there forever. Oh wait, there we go. Be a boss without even initially realizing it. it happened so quickly, you felt like you cheated. Aw. Absolute Radiance is such a bad bitch, though. What? Wait, that sounds really familiar. Absolute Radiance. It's not like a subtitle for a game. A weapon that can deal with this, gotta just buy it from the vendor and abs moderately overcook it. <laughs> oh, there's all the fish! They were in my pockets the whole time. Now, what we have to do, we have to cook all the fish. Dog, you just- you literally just teleport there. Okay, I'm gonna go to, uh... To here. I just wanna see if wisdom thingy is... Yeah, I need one of those. I may as well buy it. <laughs> so give... Give me the potion. I like doing the pointless dodge roll. <laughs> so, I'm very wealthy, so it's very much worth me, uh... ...buying more land. I just get so distracted from resource gathering. Also, I need to spend my skill points. I 
really wish I could dig faster. Where is my golden pickaxe? Oh wait, maybe that's an upgrade I can get. Hold on. Lime pickaxe. We'll have a look. It might work. Can I craft anything cool? I don't really want a throne, honestly. These are all just cosmetic stuff. Um, right, let's check my skills. I have to level up some more. Gold tools, yeah, I need gold tools, I'm pretty sure. Speaking of games, I'm at delving deep into the earth where you'll be checking out Splunky 2. Oh, uh, maybe? Like, I played the first game that was maybe in, like, the late 2000s. Um, and I was like, wow, this game is so cool, but it's so hard. I'll maybe get to the end. I barely made it to the second area. Um, then the sort of remaster, I guess, of Spelunky came out, and I've I've barely played that one. And so then Spelunky 2's coming out and I just feel like, gosh, I've still to play the first one, it feels like. So, um... I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. I'll get this because getting more gems seems like it will make me more money if I sell them all. <gasps> Quarries! Yes, I need a quarry. I need more industry. I can milk the same cow, like, infinite times. <laughs> like, you'd assume it's like, oh, one cow, you get one serving of milk, then you have to recharge. But no, you can just literally milk them until they're dry- well... I would say milk them until they're dry, but they never actually get dry. Bottomless cows. <laughs> I feel like it's a perfect Switch game, but so are most roguelikes. Aww. <laughs> Finally! Um, I don't think there's anything more to submit, is there? Apart from these. Need to submit more Guldor. It does not feel like I've been swimming for three hours. Feels like maybe one or two hours so far. Oh, I need to buy stuff. So let's go here. Yeah, I want to go to the very edge. There is a man. a brother. Oh, I I feel bad every time I see this reference. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. My bird friend told me about, he also pooped on me, I guess. My bird friend told me about the existence of golden egg. In all my years, I have never seen one. I'd sure like to, though. If only someone was young and awesome enough to find one for me. Oh. I, th 
think that guy gave me fish, but I also might have just automatically found fish from my fish traps. I am hung up. Crafted that. Oh, wait. It's like a permanent upgrade for the, uh. Like it replace. It straight up replaces my, uh. Main pickaxe. <gasps> Who would thought? In order to get a golden pickaxe, you have to make a slimy one first. I suppose it's only logical. It only makes sense, you know? Oh, glass. Wait, how am I getting glass again? <laughs> Makes perfect sense. So, in order to get a golden pickaxe, you have to get your hands sticky. Wait, no, sorry. I messed up. You have to get your hands dirty and messy and sticky and slimy and gooey and oozy. Try to prepare a meal, a meal for Christmas dinner for your family, and you're embarrassed because your hands are just so slimy. You're like, I'm sorry. Uh, here's, here's the meal, and you like drop the plate because it slips out your hand, and your family just kind of just starts getting up and leaving. You just leave the house, <laughs> even though it is their house. But they leave their own house. It's a ha it's the price you have to pay for a golden pickaxe. Uzi is not the word I would use. Sorry, wait, my hands are all Uzi. <laughs> I need gold and bald beetles. I mean, I can I can bottle some beetles. There's a lot running around for some reason. Where'd that bug go? There it is. There's more! I can smell you! You're all over the place. You're wriggling all around. See, I know that guy's asking for a golden egg there. But I keep thinking there's a golden egg, to, like, lying on the ground that I can pick up. <laughs> the balls are running around. <laughs> I meant the bugs are running around. I'll do that. Oh. The most important smithing material, beetles. Yeah, I don't know why it's beetles. That is kind of strange. I guess it's supposed to look like a scarab pickaxe, maybe. Like, maybe it's supposed to be kind of... like a, like a temple artifact or something. We're playing a lot of mod work. <laughs> Fridge Modern Warfare. I was playing Garden Warfare. I don't know if that's the same kind of game, but that game is quite fun. I just I can barely run it on this computer. 
I am looking to upgrade my PC as soon as I'm able to trust that I know that I'm buying the right thing. And also, once I have decided on a... on everything I want, because I think I want to buy monitors as well. So great being able to get stuff mined more. The game's hella big though, file wise. Had to move it for root to make room for literally anything else. Yeah, some games are like that. Some games are literally a hundred gigabytes, and it's like that's a lot of like. And it's just so intensive. Like, people can be like, oh, space doesn't matter, but like, it's a pain. It's a pain to install, too. <clears throat> this game was like 150 megabytes installed with a snap of the fingers. And that, it always feels so good when you get a game and it's, the file size is just tiny. You know what that means? Big shiny star dropped. Yay! <clears throat> also, I need to catch up. Um, thinking of getting new monitors, yeah. I want four monitors. I'd love that. If I had three, that'd be very good. But four would be ideal for the kind of the way I live. For my ADHD, maybe. I might actually make it worse, but no. <laughs> I'd love four monitors. Um, you bought an external hard drive just for it? Oh my gosh! It is useful having more hard drives, though. So even if you don't use it specifically for that game, um. Is helpful to have. For my ADHD group. <clears throat> Wait, I, I keep assuming I have ADHD. I've not actually been tested for it. Like, I'm falling into that trap. Of just kind of assuming I have it because people suggest I might have it. I just- I feel so fritzy all the time. I've always been that way. People often told me it's just because I'm daydreaming and I'm lazy and I'm not focused. As if I have control over it. I've been like that all my life and I always assumed it was my fault. And I was just not working hard enough or not concentrating hard enough. But... People suggesting I might have ADHD's helped a lot with me realizing that, like, hey, actually, this is very hard to control. So yeah, at some point I need to get tested for it. I just keep forgetting to make an appointment or anything. And I'm also anxious about making appointments because of the pandemic and everything. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure they do sort of online interviews with stuff like that, right? I just realized I can hold the button down. Oh wow, that looks weird. 
Why is there a double wrap there? Fairy, get out of the way! But this this guy does not know where to aim his pickaxe. Oh cut I wasn't even touching. You got ADHD too? Aww. <laughs> Bridge of the world. Oh. Change the world. You just got wasted, punk! Tree. <laughs> uh, wait, what was I saying? I oh, yeah, um... I would like a monitor for what I'm working on, I'd like a monitor for Discord, and my timers, which I have constantly on screen, shows me the time of day at a glance, also shows me how long I've been working. Uh, I would also like a window open for a stream, or like a live stream, or YouTube videos. Um, and maybe also potentially a second live stream. But I could probably fit both live streams on one monitor if I kind of fiddle around with it with the windows. Um, oh, I didn't even notice that guy. I'm exhausted from bottling that fairy. My final message. <laughs> God, I love that meme. The ridiculous mice they choose for it as well. Previous in the Zelda series suck butt to catch. Oh. I always kind of panic around them because I'm like, no, don't use it. No, I accidentally touched it. Now it's gone forever. Okay, seriously, how did that place a raft on itself? Oh, oh my god, the- What? This isn't even aligned properly. Is it because I was trying to build on the edge of the screen and it just bugged out or something? Like, this- these rafts are a mess. Wait, I probably don't need to- What the- Oh, this is awful. How did this happen? I, I can't walk past this now. What? Why? Like... What? I can't build a raft from here. What? Oh, I'm really confused what's happened. Is this area too high for the rafts, maybe? I'm just staring at this really confused. <laughs> Seems so impactful, but it's our nonsense. <laughs> I like Raft Maniac. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of visual overload from all, like, all this stuff that's on screen now. All the rafts. All the vertical lines on screen from all the planks. Right, um... 
<coughs> I need more of this. Yes, I can make it! And I got a better shovel. Walk water shovel? Huh, nightshade. <clears throat> By the way, I wanna buy more land. Oh, oh, the Shadowlands. It's all shadowy, that means it's shadowy there. This is all snowy, which might be cool, but too expensive. Oh, this is a sandy area because there's sandy particles. This is the dark area because there's dark shadowy particles. This is... I don't know. And this is all snowy. Oh, okay, I'll buy that one. Oh, wait, maybe I was wrong. Maybe this is the shadowy land. I thought I knew everything, but then my discovery only made me learn that I learned less and knew nothing and far less. I learned that I know nothing. Am I going grave robbing? Wow, all this grave robbing's making me hungry. Ah! Okay, I deserve that. <laughs> oh, Archer. <clears throat> I'm gonna use my lightning rod for this. Also, yeah, I have a lightning rod now. All those bo- <gasps> Hello! Oh, I almost died. <clears throat> Evil Mastermind Lab is going to cover the world in wrath, so Frisch can never say hello again. <laughs> it's okay, they can say hello through my Frisch traps. Frisch traps. <laughs> they say flop! <laughs> you can think of some buried meat right here. <laughs> oh, I'm a champion! The game is rewarding me for being very evil. All oh, these trees have come to try to put a stop to me. Golden pickaxe! I'm gonna be right back because my milk tea is has gone warm, so I'm gonna refrigerate it and get a fresh milk tea from the fridge. Okay, I'm back. Seems like- seems I've unlocked a Hollow Knight skin. Oh wow, this pickaxe is ridiculous. So big. I don't trust this dog, I'm gonna tell that to stay poop. Oh, 
Oh, three hits, that's so much better. The real treasure in this adventure are the friends we make along the way. I don't understand that meme. Eri keeps saying that quote. I know it it's supposed to say something like it's I think they're just kinda saying it's not about the destination, it's about the journey there. But Eri says it in the exact same way, and I feel like something said that once and I just totally missed it. It's like the real adventure was the friends we made along the way. Or something like that. I kinda swap the words sometimes. I thought the real treasure was the smog coming out of our factory. Ooh, factories. That sounds nice actually. Ooh, flower press. Let's build this uh, next to the druid. <laughs> It'll make him happy. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me on! That's amazing! I can just make ore? Wow. Oh wow, what the? There was a chicken there? Oh come- uh, I didn't mean it! <laughs> The animals keep walking into my deathly pickaxe. <laughs> I think it's just flowers. Oh, okay. Oops, um... I want stuff. game? Okay, I've got an empty bottle. Why would you put the fairy in my quick slot? I do it's awful. No. It unequips the bottle when I do that. Why? I wasted those fairies. I ate them for nothing. <laughs> Dude, you're kind in me on. <laughs> I think it's just a cheesy kids movie message that keeps showing up even though it's lame. Oh! Yeah, that would make sense. That might be actually where it comes from. It makes absolutely no sense, but I shouldn't be questioning a game this much. <laughs> the reason it works is because magic. What's for sale? Not that I can afford anything. Oh! Wait, let me sell some stuff. Uh, this? No. Uh, these? Yeah, let's sell them. Oh no! Glass wall? A glass wall? That sounds awful. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, where am I going? Uh, oh, I just need to search for where the star is. It's not there. <gasps> Thunder Curry! Hello! Welcome. Isn't a glass wall just a window? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought, anyway. How are you, you sweet muffin? What is this, even? I got it, and it's not even... It's 
It's not even a thing I have to submit. Oh, okay. Well, you're going in here. Royal Steel. Uh... What the? Great Skull. Oh. Spirit Orb, you're going in here too. Skull pickaxe. Oh, I need five great skulls? And I need more bugs for some reason. Ooh, this guy. Hello. Void portal. Toxic sigil. Oh, a star for Arkham actually seems like a good buyer, uh, good deal. Those do not come by often. My dog's just sitting in the Shadow Realm all happy. I got stuck in nothing again. <laughs> These guys are just running all over the place. Hey, you're in the water actually, how are you managing that? <clears throat> Is this Minecraft? It's like... Well, hmm. What does this remind me of? I can't remember. I'll just say it's Minecraft, yeah. That's, it'll just be the easiest answer. Oh! <laughs> it's like Stardew Valley, and Zelda, and Minecraft. I didn't want to kill the cow. My pickaxe somehow aimed around the back of the tree just to attack the cow. It's ridiculous. Oh, I'm getting actual, like, money for mining these. I leveled up! Characters in the game. You are my favorite person in the history of ever. I don't know if what they do. I have a feeling the game wants me to harvest them for um, beat roots, but I, I absolutely do not want to attack them. Like, it puts a big target radical in them, and I'm very afraid of like testing it. It's a lot of rafts, yeah. Um, it just, <laughs> it makes it easier to just traverse everywhere if there's rafts connecting everything. I'm exhausted already? I feel like I just ate. I 
I want to say that this is like the indie game Flotsam that's still being made, I think. But I refrain from saying that because I don't actually know what Flotsam is like. Never actually gotten a chance to play it yet. It was at a game event, but I think people were always playing it, so I wasn't actually able to get a chance to play it myself. How about attacking the fort? Oh, I've not been focusing on the gold recently. Dog! I swear, the dog teleports right onto me all the time. Many gems. This game looks stressful. <clears throat> There's so much. Everything's so lush. Doggo Levy really goes with the desert area. Oh, like the, uh, like my avatar or the, uh, the actual dog in the game? You close your eyes for a second and the whole place is overtaken by plants and rocks, yeah. Everything grows way too much. Oh, I'm getting so many gems! Oh, I have a skill point to spend, I forgot about it. Avatar me, aww. Oh, I forgot, I have stuff to build. A level up later. I need to... I need a mineshaft going. Oh wait, hold on, I need to catch this first. And this one. But while I'm at it, I may as well just catch the, all of them. Oh no, another one! I should eat, okay. Oh, I have a key suddenly. Huh, I must have gotten that just by chance. Okay, I've got enough of the torch bugs. Let's just throw them in. Good thing I've got like infinity coal. Uh, I need to set this to just make a billion of these. And gold would be very good as well. 
And if I let at it, some steel would also be good. Um, not being attacked by slimes would also be good. If I don't even know where to put most of this stuff now. It's just a big, big mess. Make more gold using flowers. Oh, I need to sell stuff. Um, I would like to, if I can afford it, I'd like to... Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, is that like a... It's one of the plants I need, I think. If I can afford it, I'd like to... Buy one of these, but I can't. I need like... 2,000 for more land now. Fishing rod? Eh. Oh, I can fish for treasure. Maybe not actually use for fishing. <laughs> I just need more of those skull guys, meaning I think I'll probably need to buy more land, meaning I need more money in order to upgrade my pickaxe, which means up er, which means mining more gold and selling gems. Is something I needed. Oh. What am I stuck on? I thought there was like a wall there. That's weird. All the enemy in this game is just trying to get the cursor to point the right way. I should 
get these to make tons of coins as well. this in here just so I can make room. Onyx Relic! Oh my god, it, this guy sells some scary things. Couldn't move, I'm sorry. <gasps> Pumpkin! I guess I was using that thing up here to store bottle things, so maybe I should stick to that. Yeah, that feels okay. Oh, I can buy more things. More land. God, that looks exciting and terrifying. Oh, that's why that happens. If you go to the bottom of the screen, it only manages to go down halfway, and it offsets the grid for the ramp. <laughs> That's it's so interesting that... Like, this game's been around for a good amount of time. I'm surprised no one noticed that was a glitch that was there. Well, at least the raft mystery is being solved. I just need to try and break... Oh. Glad Parker, thank you. <clears throat> thank you for saying that, and also thank you for enjoying it. <laughs> Almost forgot to drink the milk tea I took out the fridge. Um. Yeah, I just need to 
work out how to fix all these rafts. You know what I want to do, actually? Dog. No, dog, you've ru- well, I wouldn't be able to do it either way, but the dog slightly, maybe, potentially ruined it there. I was wanting to try and trap the cow in the water. Oh, the milk tea. <laughs> and unbug this mess. Uh. God, yeah, Mark, there is, Mark, there is so much stuff everywhere. It's like trying to brush your long hair when you come out of the shower. It's just like a painful entanglement. Oh, can't grave rob on a empty stomach. Don't want it warming up again, yeah. Oh, did you know I'm addicted to milk tea? I can't remember if that's a thing you knew or not. I get milk tea from the Chinese supermarkets and it just makes me feel good. It's like my... my drug. Uh, let's build another bridge here. Just so it's all neat and tidy. You like shine on your quest. Okay, boys, we're gonna go steal from the dead, make sure everyone is eating their bologna sandwiches and fruit snacks. <laughs> oh. You see that? That's a horizontal line that shouldn't be there. <laughs> Aha! It works! Now I can run! I can run all along. I can run all over. Oh, that's so much better. Broken game. Is this game still in alpha or something? <laughs> wow, these game developers really need to fix their broken game. They should hire me. <laughs> Listen, I'm not a game designer. I've not studied game design. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'd be better at their jobs than them. Through sheer willpower and confidence, I'd do a better job. <laughs> I'm gonna sue the developers of this game. I'm gonna be like, this game's broken and unfinished. The evidence? I want to romance the great fairy character, but the game won't let me. What gives? What do you mean that's it's not a game mechanic? That's not good enough. It should be. There's no excuse for that not to be in the game at this point. Many have told me to just let it go and move on with my life, but no. I'm going to make this a daily commitment to tell them to fix their game because... Because I should be a game manager. 
Also, if they need any ideas for their game, they should pay me. And I can give them ideas. Because my ideas are above AAA ideas. <laughs> if you don't get to sex the sexy fairy, the game basically goes from 10 to 0. <laughs> I love your game, and that's why I'm so angry. <laughs> your game is the best game I've ever played. Which is why I rate it a zero, because it's not even better than it is. I rang it bad just because of the amount of potential it has. That's a lot of bricks. Infinite? <gasps> Does infinite mean what I think it means? Oh my god. Does that mean it can automatically just... Oh, very propping an empty stomach. Can't forget to eat. Uh, yeah, does that mean I can just have it so that it just produces gold constantly so long as there's resources? Because that'd be amazing. I can't stop playing your game, it's ruining my life! <laughs> I don't talk to anyone anymore, that's why I'm giving it a zero. Okay, so I'm gonna rate your game a negative 10 out of 10, because, quite frankly, it's too good. You're welcome. <laughs> Wait, so can I tell it to... Oh gosh, if, if I can craft infinity and just have it do it automatically without me having to tell it, that would be amazing. <clears throat> I have kind of been curious about like giving like a restaurant a bad rating or a bad review and saying it's because it's too good. But I think realistically that would actually harm them, so um, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> oh, it's, it's making infinity. Oh, I'm so happy. Three, hello. Infinity. <laughs> Yeah, I think the only time I would rate a restaurant bad saying it was- or rating it bad because it's too good is if it was a cartoon I made of myself doing it, and it was all fake. I think that's the only way the joke would land is if it wasn't true. Giving a joke bad review is definitely harmful, yeah. There's no invisible wall! This game has some interesting glitches. That's right, it's time to make infinite glass. People give negative review on Steam saying, what are you looking at negative reviews for? Just buy the game. So the game doesn't end up getting overwhelmingly positive reviews. Do people actually do that? That is whack. Oh, there's 
someone who said, like, uh, they rate a game, like, would not recommend on Steam. And you say, this game is bad, it's not fun. And then it says, like, that they've got a thousand hours in their playtime for the game. And that's the joke is that they're making. It's like, this game's awful, but it turns out they love it. So they, it's, they actually don't think it's awful. But at the same time, it's still a negative review. And it's like, that was just... It's just being mean. What's the point? But yeah, in my cartoony scenario idea, um... Once I leave the bad review, um, I should have it so the restaurant owner gets, like, really angry. And I go up to the restaurant to eat in it again, and they throw me out and ban me, and I'm like, What's the deal? It was just a joke? I don't understand. And that's the end. Like, the ending would have to be me being punished for it. Infinity. Where's my dog, by the way? There he is. What's that dog doing? Just goofing around. Woofer is me. I need to maybe not craft infinity gold for the time being. Craft that just so I can reset it. Um, right, I'll need to get more gold or... Dog, stop it. This dog is pure evil. He just jumps in the way, like literally on me. So my pickaxe keeps swinging for the dog, even though swinging the pickaxe at the dog is nothing and shouldn't be a thing. Speaking of woofers, the boy Chihuahua was doing angry, excited face when I got home from work. Aww. That's cute. Oh. I'm not actually seeing what happens when I starve my character. Like, I'm not sure what happens, like, if I start losing health or I just start moving sluggishly. It's not something I've tested yet. I didn't want to break the raft! Why? Why would you think I want to do that? All these resources and it's like, nah, I want to destroy the raft. I want to destroy the path. I think you move slower and swing slower too. Oh, maybe, yeah. Tree! Hit the tree! Crazy little man! Uh... Oh, I need you now. Actually, that useful. I need sand. Really wish there was an upgrade where my dog could attack the slimes for me. I have infinite health. 
can shoot lasers out of his eyes. Again, they should take my advice and put in all my ideas, because all my ideas are epic! Uh, anyway, uh... I'm looking for gold ore. Oh my, it, it's, there's so much stuff in the way. Including the dog! Go away! The dog just teleports into me. Epic <laughs> tear. Rob more graves. Like you're homeless, bored, and have nothing better to do. Time to rob some graves. <laughs> if only I had a thing that could just shove food in my mouth, so I wouldn't have to <laughs> worry about doing it myself. <laughs> now I did realize there's probably some kind of cooking thing I can do. Oh, 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 damn it! Couldn't do it in time. Seeing Quaker came in, come in was a pleasant surprise. Oh, I'd better um, dive into that mine. Also, I want to see if I can make pumpkin seeds. Yes! Perfect. A delicious stew. Or stew, I should say. Ow. Oh, I'm being attacked.
Oh, okay. Um. Oh, so much. So much money. Okay, this ominous looking place really caught my eye last time. Um. Oh god, that is horrifying. It's perfect. <laughs> yes. Harry Ruse? Oh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> How are you doing today, Vic? Oh, right, the emotes. The streams made it so that I'm doing quite good today as well. I think I needed a break just to relax the game as well. I thought I'd just stream it. And also, I got this game from my Humble Bundle subscription, so I was really, really happy and just like instantly wanted to try it. So that's how the stream came to be. In real life? Oh wow. Void Rose? Oh my gosh. This guy sells ridiculous stuff. Love this game. Aww. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. You gotta run and pick him up. Okay. Have a safe trip. See you soon. She was a guest of honor at ScotiaCon, the Scottish Furry Convention. Oh, okay. Came from Australia. Oh, okay. That shoot. Uh, Bree, do you remember Jack French? <laughs> I hope you remember Jack French. Do? Okay, good. Um, yeah, when my character says, I am hungry, I always think of Jack French saying, Mediterranean, Mediterranean cuisine. 
I'm hungry. <laughs> Which is what he says at the crime scene with the corpse there. <laughs> I, I hear his voice every time my character says, I'm hungry. <laughs> God, I really want to watch that video again with you sometime. God, it's amazing. <laughs> if you're investigating a crime scene, the first thing he says is, That chair looks comfy! <laughs> it's just so stupid. Oh, the My Reverse 3 bit again. I mean, we could do that too. I really want to watch Jack French 1 and then like the second Jack French video they do. Speaking of which, um, I found out a few days ago that I got gifted a tier 1 sub on Slowbeef's stream. When I wasn't even watching. I was so happy. Oh god, there's a skeleton right there. <clears throat> Help! Oh, I'm dying! Oh, pumpkins. I've been gifted subs to the two for YouTubers you watch. Aw, that's awesome. Amazing at recommending people for me to uh, like check out on Twitch that I have like no connection to practically. Look, one of my friends from the games conventions. Um, was streaming Tetris 99 and I was like, I didn't even know he streamed and Twitch just recommended him to me. It's awesome. What's that thing? <gasps> Demon men! Oh no! Alright, I need to empty my pockets. Alright, I... Oh wait, I can throw this in here. Okay, this should be here. This should be here, this should be here. I guess I could shove my auras in here as well as the pumpkins, maybe some cactus. Actually, I'll put them in there. Carry on Twitch because she was playing FNAF 2. Aww, that's cool. Hey Frico. Thanks for coming in.
Have you been doing? on the YouTube comments of it, Scotia Con mistook me for a FNAF suit maker. Maybe like mistook you for a for another one? A park floor one. Oh yeah. It's kinda cool. Oh no! That thing's back! Oh god, I'm destroying the bed. The escape to the... The tomb. Oh no. I have to worry about those guys now. Oh. Oh, you used her videos? That's sweet. Mm. Oh, well, that's all the bugs? Okay. <gasps> They're attacking my stuff! What am I doing? Oh, I remember. I was grinding for gold so I could finish this bundle component. <gasps> it's not there! Oh no, wait a minute. I have 49 gold ore, where is it? Oh, there it is. Makes sense. Yay! Bundle component issued. Oh, wait, I haven't even delivered the topaz yet. Well, there's so many little things to worry about here. I've been streaming for coming up to five hours now. I've just been playing this game the whole time. I feel a little bit fatigued, but I also really don't feel like stopping. Um, but I guess I'm gonna have to stop at some point. I can't just keep going and going and going. Oh, I should check in the shop as well. Green pigment, slime floor. Hmm, I don't really know how to use this. Okay. 
Okay, let me craft infinite of this. So, what am I doing? I need to... Just stuff these in here, where they belong. As well as these hot peppers. Now I'm ready to brave this scary dungeon area. Nice to finally talk again and be trying to reach out to you all over the place. Oh, Tibri? Skull Galaxy? Gentle enough to soothe the skin, strong enough to break stone. Uh... Water? What force and strength cannot get through, I with my teeth can do. <laughs> we can all talk, huh? Uh, Quaker, I was actually trying to add you in Discord, but I, it seemed like you removed me and then weren't accepting requests anymore. But um, like, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't really judging if that was what you did, but um. Yeah, I, I just I wasn't totally sure what happened, but I thought maybe you wanted some space or something. Uh, if you did want to talk, that would be fun. I, I've always enjoyed hanging out with you uh, in voice chat. You're very fun. It's fun watching you play games like Sekiro and stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, it, it was maybe just because you didn't like, uh, or you weren't as fond of this card. Okay, I can fall from great heights and live, but submerge in water I die. That's insect. I guess these are all bottled items? Alive without breath. Cold as death. Never thirsty, always drinking. Oh god, I'm... For me, riddles are a hit and a miss. Trenton did have your account for a while. He had your account?! How did he manage to get a hold of your account? whole story? Oh gosh, okay. Aw, oh, okay. I hope he's been treating you well. Uh, I don't know. I guess wherever you feel most comfortable talking. Um... Oh, oh, that, that's why I came back. It's because I need to get, um, bottled things, I think? the bottled water again. Where did I put that? Oh wait, I used it for the water shovel, didn't I? 
Um, so you need another ball. Gonna do some stoof. Catch you later, Quaker, and hope I have a good stream. Okay, thank you. See you soon. Oh wait, what the- I just noticed that guy running around. See if I can deliver these. Um, okay, I think that's the insect one. Oh, no. Okay. What's my Discord number code? My number code is Levy Hash One Three Three Seven. Always drinking. Which mm. force and strength cannot get through? I with my teeth can do. Uh... Teeth? Oh, I did, I'm stumped? I don't know. I guess I'll mull over it. A middle-aged fire. <laughs> Trying to find, just trying to solve the riddle of the Sphinx. I had to deal with the job center call. Oh god, I'm so sorry to hear. <laughs> I hope it went okay. Uh, you can spoil me if you want to, because I'll probably, I, I just, I don't know. I'm really bad with riddles. Sure, yeah. A key? Uh, wait. Which one's a key? Always drinking. Uh, or... Something... You can't... Or Oh, key teeth! I would have never thought of that, honestly. Yeah, I would never- I would just- I've never thought of that. Luckily, I think I have a key just laying around. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Oh, 
middle-aged. Wait, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, key, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, the last one. Alive without breath, cold as death, never thirsty, always drinking. And then I think of, like, does snow kind of absorb water and it's cold? And I think maybe a plant of some kind? But plants get thirsty, so I just... I, I just don't know. Bottle. Hmm. Cold as death. Bottle of air. <laughs> Cold as death specifically. Woo! Lavender? Oh, that's too rare. I'll never be able to get it. Try the bottle of air. It's not a bad idea. Uh. I might have got one of these wrong, is the thing. Soothe the skin. Okay, let's think about this one again, actually. Gentle it enough to soothe the skin. to break stone. Or break stone, right? Or is it talking about like a plant or a flower? Because I know that plants and plantation uh, can break through stone. Bottle? 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 Yeah, bottle? Wait, what? I don't... <laughs> I'm, I, I'm confused. I'm confused what you guys are saying. Left is water. Oh, oh, okay. <clears throat> Bottle? What? <laughs> what are you saying? What is ball? I've placed a ball. Oh, you love ball. Okay, um. Cold as death. Oh, stomped on bottom. Okay. Yeah. Top so clever. Yeah, bug seems right for that one. Can I read this? My A button's broken. Did I read it too many times? <laughs> what? It, it, I can't read it anymore. Oh well. <clears throat> the game broke. Is there a sponge item? Yep, that's right. Are sponges cold as death? <laughs> that's the one I get confused by. <gasps> Cookies! Fish, maybe. They're always drinking. They're never thirsty. Uh, they don't breathe, right? Um, is there ice? I'm not sure actually. But are are fish cold? This is death. I guess they are because they're underwater, right?
Where am I gonna get a fish? Oh wait, of course. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> <clears throat> so, um... Okay, I've already got the fish. I had it in, in my pants the whole time. The right one is... I can fall from great heights and live, but submerged in water I die. So, um... Cooked fish, right? <laughs> With the power invested in me, uh, nothing happened? Okay. Paper. This one? This one has to be fish. It has to be. Absolutely has to, I think. Fall from great heights and live. Submerge in water, die. That might work for paper, yeah. He's so clever. Oh. Still enough to soothe the skin, strong enough to break stone. Oh. Hmm. Water. Hmm. Does water even break stone though? It kind of just like shapes stone. I don't know if it breaks it as such. Hmm. Paper fits so well. Where am I gonna get paper? Is the thing. So paper is made from wood. I don't see any books. Oh wait, I've got a scroll. I'll try it. <laughs> nope, I didn't like it. Water could break stone if there's enough pressure. Hmm. So I don't think cat's an item. Oi! Do you have it? Do you have a cat? With only void steel and nuclear fuel cells. There's a lot of demons spawning. This is good to know. Acorn seed. Oh. Wait, I'm trying to remember the riddle. What was it again? Uh. No, I've forgotten it. I'll have to look at it. My brain's gone. Jump enough to soothe the skin. Oh. Mm. Yeah, seeds. Maybe a seed of some kind.
You know, I kind of want to draw the dog from this game because they just seem so smug. They're just like so lovable. Like their eyes are always closed. They're just like walking around in so pride. Oi, stop trying to run. Check your skills, see if there's anything that could make paper. Uh, let me see. Also, yeah, this is why I keep some skill points unspent, just in case I need to sort of immediately grab, or so suddenly grab one. Um, so let's see. Oh, a bank. Yes. Can I... Can I stop the recipe? Let me make a brick. That'll stop it. Wasting all of that. I just needed to stop being infinite. Mm. The thing I was trying to do is taking too long. I'll check my skills in a second. It was like, there's no goal right now. Oh wait, there is school. Cancel this to make one coin. It will reset it so that it will stop um, using up all of it to turn it into that. So. What am I missing? It's just all the wheat, basically. I really need a chainsaw. So many trees. Oh, I have a seed, right? It's not cotton, is it? <laughs> Oh, that was the paper one, right? Yeah. Hmm. Doesn't seem like seeds it. Oh well. Paper. Masonry tables doesn't seem like it. Let's try this one. Hmm, so it seems like I can already craft papery things, right? Boots and gloves? Oh! Ooh! I kinda want those. So 
sorry, I wasted it. Um, ooh, that looks nice. Jewelry. Do I even have a bank yet? I don't think I do, do I? Goodbye, Fico. Thanks again for coming. I should be able to build an inscription table now, right? Break some space open. Paper. <gasps> hey, we did it. Wooden flower. Not the cooking kind. Yeah, I want more of that obsidian. Hit me up. Um, <laughs> voila. This riddle starting. Uh, this riddle starting to bug me. Uh, oh my God! You're a wrecky. Wait, paper doesn't die? But no, insect works better for that in my opinion. Paper's not alive! Ah, oh, never mind. You're magic. Skull Galaxy Seal. Only awarded to only those who solve the hardest puzzles. I'm getting too much credit for this. Trees are alive, but paper is dead. <laughs> um. I guess that's why I'm so bad at riddles, because I have to think non-literally and it's very hard for me sometimes.
but it cut it, the screen cuts off. What the what's happening? Also, that place looks so evil. I guess now that we solved that place, there wasn't a scary dungeon. Uh, it means we can now explore that spooky red place down there. Oh, well, okay, I guess it's sunrise already. Yeah, I, I still feel like the bug one would have made more sense, but I guess that's if I was thinking of it literally. Cheater. It's alright, you're gonna get in the ah. I was really thinking that chicken was gonna die. <gasps> I just realized I have a chainsaw! It's the lightning rod! I can just take down everything! I'm so happy. Even ricochets off of things. And we go, Bleh. yeah. <laughs> oh, look okay. at go. Dare I say feisty? Oh, that takes a long time to break down. Oh, I'm so excited to test this out. It's taking too long. Oh, so much faster. <laughs> oh, hey, Mushy. Good to see you again. I think Scare and Feister are in the same category. <laughs> Oh yeah, who needs to use a axe anymore? I can just melt everything with my magic powers. Oh, I feel so powerful now. <laughs> oh, it's crazy fast. If only I didn't need to recharge. And it even doesn't attack the animals! No! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Makes me so happy. Just everything just fries! I discovered America first, then the Atlantic Ocean would be covered in rats. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, no, wrong one.
I'm so happy the chainsaw <laughs> actually exists. Or oh, even attack stuff that, like, I don't even know is there because it's hidden behind other things. Okay, where's my dog? Okay, I need him to clean up the mess I make. No, I'm, I'm really scared to experiment with attacking them. They're the kindest souls. Do it. Okay, fine. Oh my god, I knew that was a bad idea. Oh, okay. Oh, the countdown. Okay. Well, maybe it was worth it seeing all that happen. Wow, farming got so much more exciting. I need some gardening. I need to pay me, I do it for the fun. Them. Look for a minute, just as you shocking everything around you. <laughs> I realize I can. I don't need to hit anything with my pickaxe anymore. <laughs> I can just fry everything in like this chaotic manner. Oh, it's so good. Um. Let's craft infinite coins again. They are weak, they shall perish for a lightning chainsaw. <laughs> oh, there is a golden egg that the guy is asking for. I keep thinking I can pick it up, but then I remember, no wait, that's just the quest. Just look at that barren wasteland. Delightful. the desert, yeah. I'm exhausted from all the farming. I, 
think the lightning rod actually consumes less stamina as well. Even break graves. Need your car wash, sir. I can't believe there is actually a chainsaw. It was I had it all along, I just didn't notice it. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Quaker. It looks so adorable. I kind of want to redo it a little, like, uh... I kind of think it... they could use a kind of... re-attempt with the shading because... I finished... Like, I made a stream avatar for Waggleton. Uh, just recently and sort of totally redid the shading kind of style. Because I wanted to look more like how I've been shading this uh, pixel art sprite for this game I'm working on now. Oh. And so the shading's a lot better, and uh, I'd like to sort of apply the same shading to this cat now. They'll probably look a lot better. And also, I want to start putting in more expressions than just this one. I'm gonna have it so I can hit, like, a, a key on my numpad and it'll change the expression for, like, a few seconds. Just so I can have a moment where I can act smug and stuff, for example. Buff Pup. Oh, buff Pup! Oh, I know Buff Pup because of you! You're the one that sent me that wholesome video they made. Yeah, Buff, buff Pup I look up to. They're... Oh god, I'm almost dead.
They're just so good. They make so many people happy. They're adorable. And just skilled and competent. I just really look up to people like that. I saw? I saw a new bug. meet them but I just never well I very often think that I'm just not sort of well known enough to be relevant uh, to like the more popular people for good reason because they're really busy they meet a lot of people all the time every day so it only makes sense that they would prioritize people who are like similar to them in terms of like career and stuff Yeah, I, it'd be cool if I had like a Art of Squish the Cat, which is this cat's name is Squish. Um, it'd be cool to have a picture of me with them, like our uh, avatars together. Plays VR chat? Aw. I've not played that in a very long time. My anxiety was just way too high when I played that game, I just... Going on made me sick. Even when I just loaded into my hub world and I hadn't seen anyone. I'd like just look at my friends list and just feel like this crushing anxiety. So I just thought, nah. I just don't want to play this. I'm too scared. Also, I feel like no one really liked me anyway. <laughs> Sorry, that's a bit sad to say. Um, I feel like a lot of the... A lot of the time... Because I wasn't like this attractive streamer person... Uh, I wasn't really visible to a lot of people. A lot I like wasn't visible to a lot of the people we hung around with, basically. Aww, yeah. Oh yeah, I got the death mark. There's just no reason not to shot everything now. It's just, it's just better. <laughs> it's so fast. It's impossibly faster than my pickaxe. <clears throat> uh, Kane and Minnie are the same person. Uh, you're thinking of Luke and Kane? Yeah, yeah, they're still doing it. I mean, obviously we don't need to, you know, get into all that here, but... Oh, almost done with school, we're at Gossam. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, they, they, they're doing the same. No, I don't. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I just meant like we obviously don't need to like get into detail, but um, yeah, I know that um, Minikane's voice is a lot higher pitched. He sounds like a Yoshi now. And I was just like, oh no, he's really going down this rabbit hole. I mean, pun not intended, he is a rabbit, I think? I don't know what he is anymore, but um... Yeah, I just, I still hope that one day they realize, you know what, I don't want to be like this anymore. And that's all I'm hoping for, I just hope they can eventually move on from it. And realize there's more to life than what they're doing. I'm sure they had different plans before they started doing this. I don't think this is really who they are deep down. Probably terms of service. Oh, that too, maybe. Bad version of Nanachi, yeah. Yeah, I felt like I I was one of the only people that genuinely liked Nanachi for you know, made in abyss. Like the like the real thing that all those avatars are from. I was like, hey, remember that anime? And everybody's just like, oh, but I guess I can't really say it, but, um... Basically just making everything perverse for no reason. Well, I mean, there is a reason, but... Making things perverse without really thinking about why they're doing it, I guess. Not really stopping to think, like, how do I look doing this? Is this where I want to be in my life? <laughs> Yeah, popularity definitely changes people. You need to know. <laughs> okay, um... So... Made in Abyss is an anime with... Young teens as the characters. It's... Kind of an awkward, or I mean, I I haven't actually watched the anime myself. I've only read the manga. Ooh, bigger digging area. That's great. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm so distracted. Um, so yeah, there's an anime. There is an adorable sort of animal character called Nanachi, who's a bit like a animal mutant, and there's a plot reason for why that's the case, and it. They're like a really important character for the plot because of that. But yeah, they look adorable. I was blown away by their character design when I first saw it. <clears throat> like, when I first saw that character, I thought it was from a Nintendo game at first. Like, I thought they were the shopkeeper or something. And it turns out they're just from this, like, semi-obscure anime manga thing. Oh my god, there's so much sand. Wow. And yeah, in VR chat there was a model of the Nanachi character. And if you're furry trash like me, <laughs> um, you're like, oh my god, this one's so cute. I want to be like, I want to wear this one. This one is my avatar. Um, oh, you're aware of Nanachi? Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I completely agree, Parker. Again, we don't need to like get into any details, but I completely agree. And I'm actually ha kind of happy, actually, for you to say that. Um... Oh no, Duke, Duke would not know who we're talking about. But, um...
But yeah, um, yeah, in VR chat, that model was popular. It was adorable. And they were very cute, and when combined with voices, it was just really adorable. And yeah, there was sort of like a community of people who would wear that avatar. And it started out wholesome, and I met a couple of these friends that we brought up. Um, and it was all fine. And then they started streaming, and they started getting popular, I think, mainly because of their accents. They were sort of like, English-Welsh. Oh yeah, it's how I met uh, Parker. We were both in Anachis. I met a lot of really good friends through those avatars, actually, now that I remember, but... Yeah, they started streaming, they started getting popular. And... If you don't know, furries are quite... popular around, like, young teens and stuff. And... Especially if they're going through puberty, which you can probably guess kind of where that all leads. Um, and so yeah, they got lots of fans through streaming on Twitch who were like, Oh my god, they're so hot! And this stuff like... Even though they're like an adult, or like a young adult, and I'm like barely a teenager, I want him, I want to go out with you, I want to marry you, and stuff. Um, I mean... <laughs> I kind of make it a bit dramatic, but sometimes they get really dramatic and stuff. It's like they kind of have crushes, while most of them aren't quite... Most of them aren't quite good with dealing with those feelings, they just kind of become completely flooded by that feeling and they just... They feel like they need to pursue it. Um... So yeah, some of them would get obsessive, a bit obsessive with, um, those two individuals who were streaming. And... Because they're also kind of young... Yeah. I, that, um, we kind of discussed this before, uh, but it, I think it's really up to, uh, like, adults, like, over 18s to help the younger people manage those feelings and like help guide them down a path because most of them just want to be happy and they need to sort of know that pursuing that kind of thing is only kind of going to end in difficulty and sadness. They really need to sort of calm that down. Um, but yeah, uh, those two individuals were, or are slash were young adults. They didn't fully understand what to do with their popularity, so most of the time they would just kind of soak it all up. And things would just get really... sketchy, basically, and... Yeah, they, they had a community on Discord, and I left it just because it was just full of really... kind of dark energy, in a way. It just, it didn't feel like a good place. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the whole background story of that. And, yeah, Mr. Quaker and I kind of left all that behind because we weren't really liking how deep down the rabbit hole it was going, I guess. Like, I guess I could put it that way. And, yeah, sometimes we sort of, like, wonder what they're up to, and if they've changed, but it turns out they've not really changed much, it's kind of still going, which is a bit... Um, a bit undesired, I guess I could say. And potentially problematic. Oh, actually, I kind of want this. I also want to see if it unlocks anything that's worth getting. I just, I don't know what to get is the thing. I don't know, I'll just, I'll just start getting random stuff, I guess. Power plants? Oh my gosh. Supply looks good. Oh 
But yeah, um, <clears throat> I just hope those people grow up, I guess I could say. Sometimes people just need to make mistakes in order to learn how to sort of be a better person. That's why we hope, like, oh, you know, maybe, maybe they've changed now. But no, they're still doing the whole Twitch thing. A whole other, a whole other issue with that, though, is just, like, struggling with clique groups they don't really pay attention to you because you're not cool enough. Like, that was a whole other big issue with VR chat for me. That's why I was so anxious, because I always felt like I had to be, like, good enough for people, in a sense. I still haven't went in this tower because I learned <laughs> how to use the chainsaw. Also, um, I should get that bug into the museum. No bugs. You know, with all the other social stuff I've been experiencing this year, it was, I think, a, an important thing to go through. Oh, I need five of those? Okay. Learned a lot, and... Realize that some people you just kind of have to leave behind if they're going to leave you behind, in a sense. Like, you have to accept that they're going... They're moving in a different direction from you. Um, in life. It's important to stick with the people who love you. And not stick with the people who basically don't notice you exist, I guess. Wait, what have I got? Arrow! Oh, okay. I did not realize I had that. I keep getting these spirit orbs. My stats? What? I did not know this was a thing. Okay. Permanent heart. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna eat all these. Maybe don't need too many of the hearts. Um, damage increase sounds good, and probably one more on the energy. It's because having to eat so often annoys me. <laughs> That'll make things much easier. I don't know why this came to mind just now, but do you know what would be cool? Chicken griffins. Aww. Yeah, that would be cool. I'd love to draw some kind of cool beast like that. I want to design characters and species and stuff.
I need more wheat. Actually, am I able to make more wheat? Nope. Stop wasting the wheat! The sound design is just really satisfying. All the nice little jingles, like, just really feel good to hear. have enough wheat now, right? Okay, uh... I have enough for one, that's fine. like more pumpkin seeds. Oh, pepper seeds? Mm, I may not actually need those. I should probably go into that um, scary looking place. It's just been sitting there for, for ages. As I've been trying to like optimize things. Okay. Oh, I have another wheat seed I forgot about. Um. Wow, those grew fast. Like, really fast. That was weird. to wait a specific someone up. Oh. Did 
Did I combat roll dig that grinder? How did I do that? It was like, uh... How do I even combat roll again? Uh... Oh, right. <laughs> oh! <gasps> oh, wow, that's a rare item. Oh, it's Fendi! Hello! Good to see you. How are you? Right, I think I need to just sell this. I don't know what else it could be for. Just woke up? Ah, oh, okay. I've been doing this for like six hours. And I'm still having fun and I don't want to stop. To see you, Violet. Thanks for coming by. Oh, I didn't know this was by an art, and I didn't know this is by an Argentinian. Art, wait, Argent, Argentinian. Yeah, I didn't realize. Yeah, this this game has some bugs still, which I was surprised about. But despite the bugs, this game is still like really good. It's so fun. Also, I learned that I can use this lightning rod as a chainsaw. This is a really important discovery for me. Love all six... Wait, six ones. <laughs> yeah, I realize I can just be like... Yeah, I don't need to use my pickaxe, I can just like... Take down this entire forest with lightning. It's so fast. And it doesn't hurt animals! Dev is a raccoon friend. The guy who made this is a raccoon friend? Like, is that what you're saying? Ah. Oh, all six hours. Aww. Thank you. Dev is a raccoon friend, Nomin. I am maybe getting very confused. Mean? Oh, right. Is that who made this game? One of the lead devs. Oh! That's cool. I, like, at the start it said that this was only made by one guy. At least it, like, seemed to suggest that. So that was why I was confused, I think. Game made by this, I hope you enjoy it or something. I, a game made by this one person. He had like a pixel art, uh, like avatar at the start. Programmed the online multiplayer and assisted in the parts. Oh, okay.
Yeah, this game seems to have had lots of nice updates, like multiplayer and stuff. I had no idea this is multiplayer at all. Goes really fast, doesn't it? Run of power. I can recharge this, then zap this guy. What happened? That's weird. There we go. Are the pumpkins? I guess they're in here. Uh, 
Do I, do I not have enough pumpkins to do this thing yet? By the way, did you know that there's this adorable beam here? You're amazing and we love you! They actually really cheered me up today. Because today was definitely one of those peak. uh, sorry. Today was definitely one of those days where I needed to hear that from... ...someone, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> Forger, Haley. Yeah. Food is plants. Plants is organism. Organism is alive. <laughs> Hugs. I got this game through the humble bundle monthly subscription. Adaption? Wow, that's pretty impressive. You know, this dog is great, as assuming I'm not using the pickaxe. Because you get in the way of the pickaxe reticle. Now that I have my death laser, which just mows everything down. Um, he never gets in the way. Aww, that's cool. already. Yeah, that's already completed. I would like infinite bottles, please. It's not like I need uh, this for anything else, so I may as well just craft a billion. Wait, I have not watered any seeds though. Oh wait, no, it's because of- Oh, my shovel's what's doing this! I understand now, that's why things have been growing so fast.
quite an easy way to get that achievement in. Bros! Good to see you, hello. <laughs> oh, Roz, that's awesome. Yeah, Roz submitted a song to one of those, like, I think they're like mostly mobile games, right? Like, th touch touchscreen based mobile games. A little, a tiny bit like Osu, just like a bit more elegant, I guess I could say. Um, and uh, it's like one of those rhythm games that has like a lot of those really, really, really intense uh, and difficult songs. Uh, like the sort of, I guess like the higher end level of those games, if that makes sense. And yeah, he really wanted to bring those songs in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 100, 100k plus download one. That's awesome. I knew your sound skills would get you somewhere. Like, maybe not allowed you a job as such, but, you know, this is a... definitely, absolutely go on, like, go up with your credentials. To contact around to see what to charge. Oh, they're gonna buy it from you? Oh, that's amazing. It's really awesome. So I am sorry, cow, but your time has come. Forgive me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Depending on the game they wanted for, they have a non-profit one that's super popular, but they said it, they might want it for their new commercial music game. Aww. My looking guys infinitely, just like Minecraft. Aww. I didn't realize you could actually milk one cow over and over again in Minecraft as well. <gasps> oh no, the grind I dug up's disappearing. I really need to play Euro Truck Simulator on stream. I've always wanted to do that since I started playing that game. It's really fun. Uh, okay, I guess these should go into... these bugs should go in here. I'm still not going in that big tower down there. I'm just so distracted for like everything else. Entertainment company this franchise worked like Minecraft characters. <laughs> I'm playing as the good guy though. I'm the hero! That's why I'm frying the land with my lightning. <laughs> Another news, you tried to play the Crash 4 demo. Turns out it's only for people who digitally pre-ordered it. Oh!
Oh, I've got so many gems. Time to sell all these. Okay, I'm gonna put back maybe 10 of each. Then I'm gonna go in here and just sell them all. For loads of money. And I have over 10,000 gold. Over... Maybe over 12,000 gold. I do love money. Oh, hello, Mr. Cow. Same for a cow that's stuck in this furnace. Trapped. Oh gosh. Um So do I, I don't have all the milks with me to grab these. It's rather unfair, yeah. Uh, your first soda? No, I don't think I did. That's cool. I still need to draw a reference of my character, I just... Um... I know, I've never really felt inspired by making a reference. I feel like the drawings I have of her kind of sell her enough, I guess. Okay, I've never felt like, at least my impression of what I would do for a reference, because I know some people do them in different ways. Um, when I think reference for my character, I just think of them sort of just standing in a void, posing like a model. It's personally that's always kind of felt like they're lifeless. I, I still feel like I would like one nonetheless. You've got to go? Oh, okay. I'm so glad you enjoyed it, Duke. Bye bye. Thanks so much for coming. Set a basis for artists? Yeah. I'm just exhausted. That should be enough. I'm gonna go in this tower. I wanna see what it's like. Also, my milk tea is warm again. You know what? I'll be right back again. I'm gonna grab chilled milk tea. I believe you've been watching since your shower this morning. Oh. You're so sweet, thank you. I hope this is one of those puzzles I love. Is it? Is it gonna be? Yes! Oh, I love these puzzles so much! 
Oh, it's just so fun. I remember when I played one of these the first time in Spire of the Dragon 2. Oh god, I love these puzzles. I'm so happy. <laughs> I just saw the layout, I was just like... <gasps> Have I been blessed today? I just need to bring all these down somehow. <laughs> I totally exploded. Okay, I'm a bit confused though. Um, okay, this is this is getting. It's getting close. I just need to kind of align these. I think I'm getting quite close to the solution. Hopefully. Sonic Shuffle flashback. <laughs> I don't know Sean Sonic Shuffle actually. Thunder Curry, I just want to give you a big hug. A big Mian Chao hug. <clears throat> uh... Okay, actually I'm a, I'm a teeny bit stumped. But I'll keep going because I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying being stumped. No. You can really use some pizza. Soon you'll be able to feed my cat avatar pizza. Oh, that's such a cute emote. <laughs> you man, show hugs or ten full hugs. Aw. Hey Paige, thanks so much for lurking and watching. I hope you're doing okay. And hi Junkie, good to see you. Sonic Shuffle is a game that's only fun with all four players because the AI is otherwise mandatory and it cheats. Mm, I've never... I've never seen that game. I've never heard of Sonic Shuffle before. There was a minigame where you had to figure out which switch would launch a rocket containing Eggman into space. That minigame was fucking impossible. You could never guess it. Oh, okay. Okay, Paige. Uh, sorry. Okay, Paige. See ya. Oh, this, this feels quite close. Um, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I feel like it's so close to lining properly. If I just keep meandering... That was almost it, I think. I've never done one it to this scale, to be honest. <laughs> You're like, ah! <laughs> you know, I hope I was supposed to turn them all on and not all them off, because then I would have done this completely backwards. <laughs> so weird that Hudson designed most of the Mario Party knockoffs. I'm never able to make them as good as Mario Party. 
One of the few that came close was Fusion Frenzy on original Xbox. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I'm trying too hard to clean everything up immediately, and I'm not really thinking of, like, the overall setup. Kind of like a Rubik's Cube. Because I always try to just... solve it by cleaning up everything on one side first, but that's not really how you do it. Also, for the record, I... have never managed to solve a Rubik's Cube because I was always determined to try and work it out myself. Um, so not being able to solve a Ru Rubik's Cube is, like, a curse, I guess, from being stubborn like that. It's kind of cool, though, because the, it's kept Rubik's Cube still quite an interesting mystery to me. Like, there's still a magic to Rubik's Cubes for me. I know there's people that just solve them in, like, um... 10 seconds or something. Never saw a Rubik's Cube by there? Oh. There is a technique people learn, um, but I was always kind of shy to look that up, because I was like, No, I feel like I'm cheating if I do that. I want to just, like, logically work out the way to do this. Uh, but, I mean, so far it's not done anything for me. In terms of solving Rubik's Cubes, anyway. This is- yeah, I really like puzzles like this. It's kind of like doing a Sudoku puzzle. It's just fun. Even if- even if it's not an original puzzle that the designer made, it's still like a pleasure to me to try and solve. It's just a fun process. the stream isn't going to just be here. Uh... Aww. Hugs. Thanks for the hug, Violet. I love your hugs a lot. Okay, I've solved those corners, I guess. Um, is there like a sequence of these presses that would do it? I don't think so. Because I can't interact with these if I'm sticking to this wall. I'm thinking of Paige's advice though of um, sticking or like starting at the corners. Um, I'm thinking maybe the corners have something to do with it. Oh, <laughs> I'm exhausted from pressing these buttons. Motivation is here. Thank you. Violet is best. Hands down. Paws down.
<laughs> Those are panda paws, by the way. <laughs> Got a nice 2x4 <laughs> arrangement of nice uh, little stools. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay, Quaker. Thanks so much for staying for so long. You cheered me up a lot, actually. Have a good lunch. Bye bye. Sorry if this is driving people crazy, like if I'm just not getting it. Um, it's taking longer than I expected, definitely. But I like how in the death, in the death tower, the really scary looking tower, it's just a puzzle. <laughs> This way I'm gonna starve. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of food and just starve and die in this puzzle room. Okay, so I... Yeah, I've just never done this puzzle to this scale before. Um, Cause usually it's just like 3x3 three three and like... It makes it a lot simpler because there's so much more cutoff, but... Um, what this puzzle really is, is addition and subtraction. Um, so I, my goal ideally is just to, to just get this to five. Oh, Gavin, hello. Thanks for coming by. I'm trying to do one of these puzzles. I'm sure you've seen one of these puzzles before. Came in here all confident. Uh, it's... this puzzle's kind of kicking my ass. On lunch, so plenty of those evil puzzles. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, at lunch at work, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so close, I can, like, taste it. I'm so close. Uh, it, maybe if I do it at this side, it might align them in a sort of more helpful way. Mm, so far, nothing. Aww. Oh, I forgot to post it in my channel! Oops. Oh well. I admit, I did start the stream in a little bit of a rush. I was just like, mm, I want to stream right now. I'm not going to worry about it, I just want to stream. Ah, oh, I see, right. The, 
one of the most frustrating things about this is just the fact that I find myself making the same mistakes over and over. Like, I end up arranging things exactly the same as they were just moments, just moments before. I'm just like, no, I'm just so stupid. You should examine a few buttons to plot, and then if when I manage to go back to the same place I was before I'd try a route I normally wouldn't do. Oh, you're still working on moon, that's cool. I do, I do wonder how well a game like that must have aged. Because a lot of those games, as like, beautiful as they are, um, have a lot of the old kind of game design, like, traits, I guess I could say. Hmm, that's an interesting pattern. I kind of already forgot what I was doing with that pattern that I noticed. I think it was like specifically turning on the corners. Oh, back to work. Okay, sorry Gavin, I almost missed you. Thanks for coming. See you soon. You should play it with breaks during work. It's a very 90s adventure game in its design. Hmm. Not sometimes the item that should work doesn't because the devs didn't think you'd try it for something you wanted to different yet. Yeah. Wait, does my guy bob his head a lot? kind of forgot. It's, uh, it's almost like he was dancing to the music. Also, I've been streaming for so long that this SoundCloud, uh, I guess, dis discography that I'm listening through, um, it's wrapping around I'm sorry, not wrapping around. It's like getting to like the older songs that I really love from Wiffle the composer. This is one of my favorite ones. I can't believe I'm like practically starving because I'm taking so long doing this. Oh, it's so puzzling. Oh, I don't understand. Usually I just flip the switches blindly, it just accidentally works, if I'm honest. That's why I was excited, because it made me feel like I was good at the puzzle. Oh, this one, I'm so good at it. I just smash all the buttons and it works. Ah! Um. 
isn't super common in this game, to be fair. Mm -hmm. I hope the devs aren't watching. <laughs> They'll be shaking their heads. My main pet peeve in adventure games usually comes from how they're designed to make you read the designer's mind instead of think through a puzzle with more conventional logic, yeah. Earlier there was a riddle. Uh, oh god, what did it say again? It said... I can fall from great heights uh, and live, or and survive, but if I touch water, I die. Or when submerged in water, I die. And I was like, oh, insects! Like, sp you can- a spider can fall from the ceiling and just land because of the mass. And when you squish a bug with water, they drown. Like, they- they can't do anything, they're just gone. Turns out, th the answer is actually paper. I'm like, oh, I, I guess? But I thought insect made a lot of sense. And like, you were actually to put the item in... Or sorry, you had to put the item... Um, the answer to the riddle... From your inventory onto it, so it was all the items from the game. Which is quite cool, but you had an insect in a bottle, and you had a piece of paper. And, um... Mr. Quaker sort of guessed that paper could have been an item, because he was like, maybe it's paper. And, um, asked if there was a skill I could unlock in, like, the upgrade tree that could allow me to craft paper. Turns out there was. Turns out he was right. I was just like, oh. Like, sure, paper is the right one after all, but like... Why was an insect right? It made sense to me! <laughs> you say hail? Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> just in terms of the items in the game, I was just instantly like, oh, insect, makes sense. <clears throat> Uh, oh well. <clears throat> oh, this is so close to being right. I just need this aligned over here. Oh, symmetry. <clears throat> it's like when you trigger that one and that one and that one. It kind of creates this symmetrical ripple of oh, sorry. Hmm. Did I mess that one up? I think I did. I feel like if I have a sort of symmetrical formation of incorrect ones, I'm getting quite close to the solution. Uh, I just- I need to work out how to create these shapes better. Um, Symmetrical, but just not in the right way, I guess. Um,
It probably would be beneficial if I was thinking more carefully about this, but... Maybe it's just the fact I'm streaming, I just feel like my brain wouldn't turn on, I guess, if I tried to do that. I'm gonna watch this mousey bee gamer. <laughs> A contest? Oh, that sounds exciting. Hope you have fun. Last point-and-click adventure game that was a real phone on and was Riven. Oh, the Mist game, right? Mist 2. Oh my god, I thought I had it there. Is focused entirely on intricate mechanism puzzles. Yeah, I played Riven actually. <coughs> As you should know, I'm a connoisseur of art. All oh, right, I never thought of it like that. Yeah. All those inventory management games where you just have to like bash rocks together until it works. Oh, uh, Riven's so lovely. <laughs> I freaked out there, I was like, did, did one of my, like, ASMR playlists come on? I have some, like, Office Ambient um, ASMR videos Try and help me, like, concentrate during work and stuff. Is a remaster? Aw. Hmm, gosh, the Miss game is being remastered to be so special. Oh yeah, this song has Something like I feel like I'm close to kind of getting what I need. Oh, what I need to do for this. Stein hired the Starry Expanse devs, a team of Miss fans. Oh, originally working on their own remaster project for Miss. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. Mm. Inventory systems in adventure games aren't really designed around how a player would naturally use items on hand. Oh, right, yeah. I think a lot of that was because of 80s, early 90s technical limitations. Hmm, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, I remember the Salmon Max games are sort of like more modern point-and-click games. Uh, from what I remember, I think their inventory systems were on the more minimal side. Like, you get some items, but it wasn't too over the top. It was more about, like, who and how you interacted with... Uh, wait. Sort of how you intera interacted with people, in a sense, I think. Which was what would solve puzzles. Those games were really fun and funny and charming and just really enjoyable. is taking me. Like, I 
feel like I must have brushed past the solution so many times. Like, I keep getting this 2x2 two two shape, and I... It's like an accident every time. I do that? Oh, I don't know. Oh well. Very excited for Miss VR. Aww. Miss VR would be really cool. I love Miss. The voices in that song. Three, two, one, come on! This is so funky. Also, it's probably obvious, but as soon as I'm done with this puzzle, I'll probably have to stop streaming because uh, I'm my sort of anticipation for what's coming up next in the game is like fading in the shadowy mists of confusion that this puzzle is uh, dripping onto me. I don't know what word to use. <laughs> the remaking the game entirely from the ground up in Unreal 4 all new assets. Aww. That's cool. I do quite like the remaster culture that's happening with games recently. It's like it, it's like a lot of games that really deserve it. Like the Crash, Crash and Spyro games. I'm still super happy with what they did with Spyro. Like, I never really had Crash games as a kid. Because I never really had a PlayStation 2, or I, I only kind of got in. Oh, I know actually. I had a PS1, so Crash was there. Uh, I just, I guess, I wasn't especially intrigued by Crash. I did get Spyro for Christmas. Um. So Spyro was one I had grown up with, and so the remaster made me so happy because they, it just felt like they put so much work into making it new, yet staying so faithful to the original. <clears throat> oh please be it, please! No! It was symmetrical a second ago, and I messed it up. What did I press to do- oh wait, there we go, okay. Oh, I've just flipped it, oh, okay. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, right, I was messing up that symmetry thing. Oops. Oh, and I've just... I guess I should stop and think. Croc next! Oh, yes! Croc! I want to stream Croc! I have a PS1, I have a capture card, I can stream Croc for everyone! Oh, the really late croc. I never finished it. The desert level was really hard for me. Oh. Croc's so lovely.
Is that it? Did I do it? Wait. I did something to cause that. What was that I did? Oh, I need to get them in a formation like that, right? And I just do that one and that one. And that should be it. Solved. Yes! Ah! Yes! I just have to do this one and then... This. Oh wait, wrong one. Uh, this one and then this one. Oh my god, that took like a billion years. And it's not solved. Uh... So, uh, the thing I said earlier was... I sure hope I have to turn them all on and not all of them off. Turns out, um, that, that I had to turn them all off instead. Wait, that one, that one, that one. I can hit that one, then that one. This leaves me with, like, this square arrangement again in the middle. So, what I need to do to cause this is press all these in a circle. And that covers all this apart from this little square bit. Okay, that makes it easier. Oh, Chunky! <laughs> Let me just mess around. I should be able to get this if I just mess around. So, okay, actually, what I need to do is I need to turn them all on again, but I need to get it so that the off ones are in a four, sorry, a two by two formation in the center. I should just be able to replicate that very simple pattern and solve this. Uh, hopefully, unless, the, unless this isn't the solution somehow, and I've just completely missed it. I get that 2x2 two two formation in the center again. How did I cause that? I just need four of them off in the middle. be hearing this clicking sound in my sleep. <laughs> the nightmare is that I'll be cooking some pasta and I'm like, oh my god, the pasta is overheating a bit. But I'm on the other side of the door, I need to finish this puzzle. 
to get in and save my pasta and my house from burning down. And it'll just be like this for 20 minutes and I'll be like sweating, trying to flip all these switches and never quite getting it and while there's like a ominous blaze growing in my kitchen and I wake up in a cold sweat. Okay, this 2x2 two two in the middle isn't working properly. Um, I'm gonna have to try a different approach to kind of maybe accidentally end up getting there. Symmetry definitely seemed to be the key though. I always forget what I literally just did, and I'm like, oh wait, I want to go back, and then I forget which one I press, and then I press a couple of them and it's like lost, like I dropped a coin or something, it just rolls away. To just keep my food item in hand so I stop needing to switch because just taking that long. Um God ah, oh, I don't know how to get it just with a two by two formation in the center again. Press has become one with my heartbeat. Aww. Yeah, 
trying to get them all in the middle isn't working somehow. I'm just gonna have to pretend that I'm trying to get them all on again. Hopefully end up accidentally, um... Getting them all in the middle again. Yeah, the way these four in the middle got there was not because I one by one applied them all into the center like that. It was more of like a simultaneous situation. I feel like I should just have this by now.
I feel like I'm just- I'm- I, I honestly feel like I'm not gonna get this. I'm just getting really tired. Um, or like, fatigued. I had it... really close. But, um... Something I'm just missing so much. I might be able to like figure this out if I wasn't streaming, just because streaming kind of affects how I guess how patient you are sometimes. Oh, you gotta go to class. Okay, bye, junkie. Thanks for coming and watching and watching me slam buttons a lot. Where it needs more stuff you can turn your brain off to. Oh. Ugh, God, I'm really tired. is gonna be one of those games I could just switch my brain off to and just chill out. Over an hour? Wow. gonna reset the room. Maybe it will kind of help align things a little better. Maybe semi promising so far.
guess on this, on the sort of thought of addition and subtraction. Mm, like, if it's asymmetrical, it's because one side's not kind of set up properly yet. solved it, it's just like, oh no, you solved it wrong. Like, isn't that a little bit cheap? Like, I got them all aligned, but it was the wrong polarity. But I, st I technically still got them all aligned. Like, surely that is, like, the condition would have been met, right? It's in terms of game design, like, I, sh I should have basically solved the puzzle at that point. Right there. Oh, well, that didn't really do anything. It's like, no matter what formation I try to do here, it always ends up just kind of... ...resetting overall. It's not actually, like, m like affecting... ...it in the right way. The toil over the kitchen floor is per demands of your mother. Okay. See you soon. Yeah, I try and flip it and it just... doesn't quite get it. I 
just don't know what went wrong. <laughs> I hope I can, like, somehow pull these uh, incorrect ones down and create a sort of, like, half asymmetry with them. It's my hope, um, if that, if any of what I just said makes sense. Okay. So I need to do that one and that one, right? Yeah, okay. I felt like I was so close there. Ah, oh, if only. This puzzle's all about just recognizing patterns. Apparently I'm not very good at it. Oh, I did not even mean to solve it. Okay. Well, it's done! It's all that matters. <laughs> Oh, that was... that was actually not a good time. Fire Galaxy Seal awarded only to those who solved the hardest puzzles. Oh, well, like, was that...? I wonder if that one or the riddle one was harder. Oh... I 
feel like I wasn't playing Forager that whole time, I was just... I was just sad for a long time. Uh, remember this game with all the automation and stuff? That That's a fun game. I'm gonna zap some graves and trees. That's what Forager's all about. It's all about just, all about just zapping everything. Okay, this is a big tick on that as well now. I should have taken a break in the middle of that puzzle, just so I didn't get so fatigued, but I knew it was going to be like the last thing I would do anyway, so I thought it was worth it anyway. Yeah, that was... that was really hard. I wish I... I wish I had... solved the puzzle in a clever way, but it just turns out it was an accident. Glad to see I'm not actually running out of coal because I was kind of worried I was. Well, destroying everything for a bit was a good way to wind down, but... I will have to... I will really have to stop streaming here, because that was a lot of, um... pressure, I guess. Ugh, and... Not only that, but it's quite late. I need to go to sleep. I did definitely intend on going to bed a little earlier, so... 
Oh, I hate Kito. Sorry, we're going to start spewing, I think. Um, I did a sort of logic pattern puzzle and it destroyed me. I, I accidentally solved it and it wasn't the most satisfying ending, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I need to sleep, so... Thanks for coming by and saying hi, nonetheless. Good to see you. Also, yeah, this, this game is really, really, really good. I'm, like, super happy with it. Oh, gosh. Okay, everyone, thanks so much for coming and watching. Um, I'll maybe, maybe next time I'll try and defeat this game once and for all. But, um... Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Bye, Keto. Bye, everyone.